Seattle, Washington. Known for its great coffee and superior produce. Just north of the city lies the up and coming neighborhood of Finney Ridge, home to Yanni's Greek restaurant, run by Peter Augustillo and his family. My dad decided that we should open our own restaurant in 1984. And in 2007, my dad passed me the torch, gave me the keys to the restaurant. There we are. What do you need? I need another Saganaki. No. When we first opened, business was a success. Opa! But now it seems like this neighborhood is changing. Are we open yet? And um, now people just don't seem to be coming to Yanni's anymore. I don't know, guys. I don't know. My husband was stuck in the past. Neighborhood's different. It's not a neighborhood that's different. It's the attitudes are different. And he doesn't listen to any of us. The melanzana dinner, high potatoes. Written here, are potatoes. Don't fucking tell me that next time, okay? You, you just spoil shit. And the only thing he does is yell. Where's my plates? I need plates to check it before you serve it. My dad is an absolute control freak. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. And sometimes I can't take his derogatory tone. Elise, let's get going. What, are you guys doing guidelines? My daughter, Elise, is kind of like her dad. That's fucking ridiculous. She doesn't take criticism well. I don't think the man likes garlic. Well, tell him to get the fuck out of a Greek restaurant. And I think that that's why her and her dad have problems, because they have that same personality. Back. Crying again. Taria, she can cry in an instant. <laughs> Stop crying. She's known for being very emotional. Ugh, what now? <laughs> there was too much cinnamon. There is nothing she won't cry about. Now what? Everything was too garlicky. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with this restaurant, but the main problem, Peter doesn't change. You know, a lot of our fixes seem to be really pretty simplistic. Excuse me. Cut the fucking crap. I don't have to change. They have to change their attitude. I see things more than you think. I just can't fix everything. Things have gotten so bad that we don't have medical insurance. We can't pay our bills on time. The mortgage is always late. We've hit rock bottom. Of course, it's raining in Seattle. Before Chef Ramsay heads to the restaurant, owner Peter has requested some time alone with him. Hello. How are you, sir? Chef Ramsay, how are you? Good to see you. At where else in Seattle but a coffee shop? Tell me how it started. Tell me back to the beginning. We opened 1984, and it was just me and my dad, and uh, it was uh, very good. It Making money? Making good money, yes. And then uh, 2007, my dad decided that you know, it's time for me to pull back. You took over? Yeah, you know, time. he gave me the torch, and uh, unfortunately, uh, our neighborhood have changed. A uh, new, young generation moved in. Yep. And I think they're afraid to give us a try. Right. You know. Not good. How much money are you losing? Between uh, eight and 10,000. A month? Yeah. How are you surviving? I mean, do you have money put we away? We cut down staff and everything else, you know, so my wife has to take over the dining room. Plus, my two daughters work in the restaurants. What do they do? Um, the one that works in the kitchen with me is Elise. Elise? And, and then the other one is uh, Sarah. Teria. Teria. How hands-on are you? Uh, full hands. They gave some responsibilities to my wife, but I still feel that I have to look over everybody. What's the problem? When it comes to business, I don't think they're focused. Right. You know, so the devotion is not there. Devotion? Yeah. Do they listen to you? Uh, no. No. no, not really, but... What are you like as a boss? Really? I'm not uh, strong enough, I think. You're not strong enough? Yeah, I give in. Wow. It sounds like all the pressure are on your shoulders. I mean, that's... It is on my shoulders. So, what's right with the restaurants? Well, I think we have good product. So the food's good. How would you rate that out of 10? If not 10, 9. Oh, wow. That's good. 9 out of 10, that's amazing. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Thank you for being open and honest. Sorry. I'll see you back at the restaurant. Thank you very much. Thank you, How are we? <laughs> Very well. Welcome to Yanni's. Thank you. Good I'm to see Karen. You. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet well, you. He's here. He's here? Yeah. No way. 
This is Taria, right. my eldest daughter. Uh, Hi. The... Nice to meet you. Taria. Wow, wow, wow. And this is little sis, yeah. right? Elise. Elise, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Please, take a seat. I'm really excited to see Chef Ramsey and for him to tell my father, you're not only taking your restaurant down, but you're bringing your family down with you. What I'd like to do is get your perspective, a little insights to Yanis. You know, there's no, no fun anymore. You know, there's no frills. Um, things are tight, very tight. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you upset? Teresa she's very emotional. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay? tough to see my parents struggle when they put so much effort and to know that we're struggling just to barely make ends meet. It's hard. I'm sure it's very hard. Well, how long has it been that bad? You know, a couple years, a mm -hmm. couple years. We're trying to figure out what, what we can do. It's definitely outdated. The food is outdated? The decor. The decor is outdated. Some of the outdated. food is outdated, though, too. Some of the food could definitely be presented differently. Why hasn't it changed? I think um, my husband's very stubborn. He's that stubborn? Yes, it's very. Very. Why, though? He can't just do, do it. it. Have you mentioned to him? Have you? Yeah, have all you the time. Him? Fights, many fights. All the time. Many fights. It's. It's virtually impossible. But he told me he gives in and allows you to do what you want, and he's too easy on you guys. <laughs> too easy. You know, too lax. No. no. No? No. Never. He's not laid back? No. no. Never. But he rates the food 9 out of 10. Um, he thinks the family are not pulling their weight. He's concerned whether his daughters are in or out. It's hard to be in when you can't have the full support that you deserve. Or when he never listens to anything you have to say. He says the opposite in terms well, of he he's gives bullshit. it easier. <laughs> he is not. That's untrue. That's really? untrue. Yes. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. I don't know who you met this morning. Yeah. Let me go and get Peter. My husband is in total denial of the real issues and why the restaurant is failing. I need to get to the bottom of this. I mean, you know, you're telling me one side, the fact that they don't do enough. They're telling me they're scared to step up and change because you won't allow change. I'm always the, the, the bad guy because I want things to get done right. You just said to me an hour ago, you're the relaxed guy. You're the one that well, gives in. But see, when I, when I raise my voice, I'm a bad guy. But it's what comes out of your mouth. It's because you don't know how, how to speak to people correctly. Because they're not committed. They don't focus Is on the job. Is that the only problem you have with us? No, I want you to be a leader here. In this dining It's really hard room, to be a leader to... when no, I am a waitress. A I don't give a shit. I want things done in the dining room like they're supposed to be. And I don't think this gets done. They're not servers from the neighborhood. They're your daughters. They're here to do a job. This is a job. This is my income. Do you want them out? No, I want them to step up. I can't do everything anymore. We're right here. You know, I, I can't do everything every anymore. Day. We've all said we want to be here. We're the ones asking for change. What's the change? Decor. Everything. The whole restaurant. Move forward. Throw away the menu. Start fresh. Simplify. That's the Trust only thing. People. I mean, I don't understand why it's such a hard step. You know, it's hard for me to just give up this place. We're it's not hard asking for... you to give up. No, we're, we're just, just asking, asking to, change. to change. I can't. Within minutes of his arrival, Chef Ramsay was struck with the negativity within the family. Thank you. Now he's hoping that he can find something positive in the food. That's not all on the menu, surely, to help. It's a Bible. Uh, it's an encyclopedia. Five, six pages of menu. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine specials. I have told my father to change the menu many, many times. How do you remember all these? Most of this hasn't changed. Wow. So. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. My father is very stubborn, and he needs an Englishman to give him a good kick in the ass. Um, am I seeing things? Pumpkin hummus? Pumpkin hummus. Come on, stop. Yeah. I have been to thousands of restaurants. I have never, ever seen a pumpkin hummus. It's not even Halloween. I'm going to have to try it. OK. After that, how can I not take moussaka if I'm in a Greek restaurant? OK. And the house gyro. OK. Thank you, Diane. Pumpkin hummus? This is his order. Pumpkin hummus, side house gyro, and a side moussaka. Whatever the chef wants. The decor is hideous. I mean, it does feel like you're back in the 80s. That ceiling, honestly, it's like a kid's bedroom. Wow. Pumpkin hummus? Hummus coming up. 
Here's your hummus. Don't make it too oily. Wow, look at this baby. Then whose recipe is this? This is Peter's. Right. Would you join me? See, that does not make sense. I don't like the combination. And the garlic in there. Mm, well, Blood garlic is a lot. Oh, my God. Garlic's a lot. Our Jesus. hummus is really, really garlicky. Wow. You want me to take that back? Oh, yes. It was a great shame. Here. Thank you, man. Well, one thing for sure. Let's get that right. There will never be a problem with vampires here, let me tell you. I mean, that is hideous. Not a fan of the pumpkin hummus. And he says it was really too garlicky. I don't put much garlic. People complain there's not enough garlic. I put a little extra garlic, it's too much garlic. <laughs> like what? There's no win situation. Why are you Who crying? Can? I don't know. Put your head up. Pull yourself together. I'm giving him the moussaka. There are some things on the menu that I beg my dad to get off because I don't personally like them. But there's a lot of things on our menu that I think are the best, like the moussaka. I would say that's a 10 out of 10. Wow, look at this, baby. Moussaka. Lovely. Look at that. And that's uh, freshly baked uh, in the oven? Yes. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nice. Pretty weird. The meat is very sweet, and yet the eggplant is very bitter. The eggplant is undercooked. It's picking it apart. Greasy as anything at the bottom. A huge pool of grease. I love moussaka, but that is miles off. Moussaka, moussaka. Karen, um, you just okay. said moussaka. It was just so greasy. So that is a big letdown. Yes, I'll let Elise know she'll be disappointed. Not as disappointed as me. Wow, wow, wow. Any more bad news? OK. Oh, my god. Moussaka is too oily. <laughs> Doesn't like it. I can't make a marinara without oil. He thinks the moussaka is greasy. Come on, that's ridiculous. I think sometimes the sauce, though, the red sauce is a little greasy. I mean, you can see the oil. You want to go sit with him? You want to go sit with him and chit chat how to fucking criticize my food? Get out of my kitchen. Just please, please. I don't need your criticism. Out of the kitchen. Nice, 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 nice. Right now, I'm just fucking pissed. What now? Everything, you know, it's outdated, it's oily, it sucks. Stop crying. <laughs> I need a house zero a la carte. I got it. Out. I don't want to go out, over out, there. Out, out, out. OK. OK, so the house zero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Maria. Yes, Chef. You okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You sure? Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, God, she's crying over there. It's tough. I know it's tough. I'm sorry. Trust me, the only thing so far that's got a 9 out of 10 is the pita bread. It was food's miles away. As well as it may hurt, I am so sorry, but I'm only here for one reason, and that's to get this place fixed. I know, I appreciate it. OK. I hope you enjoy this one. So do I. Thank you. What is in there? Come on, seriously? It looks like a plate full of puke. Look at it. What a mess. Karen, two seconds. Um, mm. All that sauce on there, mm -hmm. you know, that's not normal, is it? Oh, right. yes, yes. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you tasted this? Um, I've, I've had it. I don't really like it. You walk through the door and you see the decor dated. I didn't think the food would be beyond dated. All right, I'll take it back. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. 
He says, our food is dated. The decor is dated. Our food is dated. What the hell does it mean, dated? Old school cooking, Peter. Dated. Fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. He didn't like anything. Oh, my god. I mean, shit. This doesn't like nothing. The pita was good. How about mashed potatoes? Does you like that? No, they'd be too salty. This is going to be the longest night of my life. Peter needs to hear these things because the restaurant needs to change. You ask him to come out? Sure. Please. Maybe Chef can get through to him, because we can. Listen, you told me when we first met that your food was 9 out of 10. I think so. Peter. Well, this is the authentic food. Authentic food. Let me tell you, that is not authentic Greek food. Pumpkin hummus. Hideous. There's some things that work with pumpkin. Hummus is not one of them. And the gyro? Whose idea was it to macerate everything with the sauce on there? What is that? It's something we've had for years. It's like a liter of sauce. I mean, you say it was bad. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, OK. Moussaka? I mean, it's so sweet. Greasy. Eggplant, undercooked. So I had that bitter aftertaste of the eggplant at the bottom. Undercooked? When it's completely white in the center, it's not cooked long enough. I disagree. If it's not white, and you're talking to me, you want it black? You want it burnt? I'm not asking you to take it personally. I'm not. Take it professionally. You can give me attitude. Do whatever you want. I don't have an attitude. But if you want me to come in and blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's delicious, yeah, I'm not the one. Peter, have you not thought about changing stuff? These are foods I grew up with. What am I supposed to change? You've got to take your head out of the clouds and get into the 21st century. I mean, you don't even realize how much damage you're causing yourself and your family. It's got to stop. I need some fresh air. I, I'm, I'm going to be back for service. I want to see how this place functions. I don't think it can be as depressing as what I've just experienced. I can still taste that fucking garlic. That was embarrassing. I'm not going to crumble because one person says that our food is crap. Shut up. I'm not even talking to you. Stop crying. You're just afraid to get rid of the old menu. What do you do with the customers that drive all the way to come here and, and enjoy something that they've had for the last 30 years? Old ways are not working. If you're going to survive, you have to change. Can't let go of something. I mean, we've invested everything into this place. I'm not willing to throw it away because you can't change a menu. Doria's up! Corner! Move, move, move! It's dinner service at Johnny's. And while Chef Ramsay knows there are real issues with the food... Elise, you guys are supposed to call me the motherfucking... I haven't even there. looked at the new tickets yet. I'm... This is a two-part. Tonight, his main focus will be on how the kitchen operates. Elise, this is going to burn. Then I'll kick your ass. They're not burning. Elise, why is this here? I want the first ticket out. I didn't make it. You did. Don't tell me that next time, OK? Whatever. Enough with this. I don't need to babysit anybody here. Time to grow up. How's that Tiro Spano? Elise, I want you to read the tickets, because these guys are missing food. Shut up. Right. Learn your job, damn it. My dad can bark orders, but you're not helping me by just, you know, bombarding me with everything I'm doing wrong. Wow. How's everything so far? This is all gristle. Gristle? This whole end is gristle. Right. So unhappy with the pork. Just bad the pork. <laughs> all right, I will be right back. All right, dinner coming back. It's full of gristle. It bent the fork, and he says that the orzo's overcooked. Come on, you know, it's like the end of the brisola. What do you expect? Come on. He said it was. I just want. Leave my window now. OK. Don't yell at me when I'm pissed. Get the lamb out now. I don't make like this. this. Want me to take it back? Yes, please. With customers having the same disappointing experience as he had at lunch. Damn, what happened? Everything was just bad. Oh, my god. Chef Ramsay decides to begin his inspection of the walk-in. What a mess. No dates, nothing labeled. It's sticky, it stinks, and it's disgusting. How old is this stuff? 
Disgusting. What is that? Raw meat next to cooked meat. Seriously? What the hell? What is in here? You're kidding me. Uh, chicken. Oh my god. Poor bastard bird. Wow. Elise, put some food out. Who's this? Elise! What? Why are you guys leaving this? I want you guys right here. I am. You just told me to kick food out. Do you have something to kick out? No, because you're saying okay. go, 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 and the lamb's not even ready. Lamb is ready. What is that? Just smell that for me. Just smell it. No, no, no. No, no, it's not food. It's not food. We're not serving it. It's got fucking mold on top. It's moldy. What is that? The it's lamb? boiled beef. Boiled beef? Yeah. But just smell that, Peter. Just smell it. Elise, just two seconds, please. Yeah. Just smell that. Uh huh. What does that smell to you? Oh, um, it's bad. It's bad. What about the mold on top? I'm. I am not using that one. I'm using this fresh one. If you're not so using that, that then let's go away. The Fucking hell. What is that? This uh, chicken that we use for it. Oh my god! Just touch that. I mean, how? The stickiness of that. Elise! Elise! What? What? I, I, I don't know what to say. Just touch that. Just touch it. Uh-huh. It's sticky. Elise. Yeah. Come it's on. Old. I'm not even using this. I don't know. It's old. That's the second thing you're telling me you're not even using it. What about the danger zone of it even just being in here? OK. It's garbage. Sharon, two seconds, please. This is in the fridge. Peter, how long has it been in here? Uh, probably four or five days. That doesn't go like that after four or five days. Come on. Four or five weeks. We don't even. We. No way. We don't keep food longer than that. So, beef stew with mold on top. Have you touched that? Chicken? That was the fat of the beef. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. I've. That wasn't fat. This chicken is multicolored, sticky. And you're saying it's four days. I don't know how long it's been in there. You don't know. I need you, you, and you outside. What about? Let me just show you one more thing. Opa! The flaming cheese. What the fuck is this? It's just little old chicken. chicken. Another old, but we're not using that, are we? No, but so no. why is it here? We, there, it's 86. Do you know what really fucks me off? So no one's caring. There's so many things wrong. And yet everybody's in denial. Let me just show you something here. I don't want to do this anymore. This is so embarrassing. He's really going to blast us like that. OK, well, hello. Look at the refrigerator. I mean, shit, why do we keep stuff that needs to be thrown away? I don't know. It needs okay, to be thrown away, but I'm not the only responsible one. I've never seen this before. Every fucking fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. Unfortunately, the old stuff's tainted the fresh stuff. So what you think is fresh is no longer fresh. And those poor fuckers out there are eating this. Okay. No, you can't. I'm not going to let you cook anymore. Yeah, that's right. You want to continue cooking? You think it's funny, do you? No. Elise, if anyone can walk past rotten food in a fridge and continue cooking fresh, you shouldn't be fucking anywhere near food. And then when I hear, oh, I've never seen that before, then open your fucking eyes. I don't believe this. You know what happened to check things? I don't know what happened. What the fuck is this? Do you guys like this shit to drink it? Don't leave that is in there for so long. Look! Look in there! That's embarrassing! But we don't use it. I can't keep up with everything. I fucking babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. I don't need to babysit. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. She's more fun than you guys. What is this? Chef Ramsay's inspection led to some shocking, disgusting discoveries. Every fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. And Peter is pointing the finger at everyone else. Look! Look in there! I babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. She's more fun than you guys.
that's just like my father, you know, pushing the blame onto everybody else and not taking responsibility. It's frustrating. I'm sorry. I, I just want to know, are our tables getting our food? There is no food, Teria. Tell people I'm real sorry. Whatever they had, it's free. I'm real sorry. Just close the line down, man. I don't give a shit what you guys do. We need to shut down the restaurant. Why? We need to shut down the restaurant. No one's getting food. Comp them for whatever else they've had. OK. Just tell, we're done. tell them that we're done. So I'm sorry, but you guys aren't getting your food. We're having some problems in the kitchen, and you know, we hope that you'll come back again. Drinks are on the house. Thank you for trying us. And have a good night. <laughs> this is not fair. I've never seen food like that. <laughs> you know what? There's no explanation for all that in the refrigerator. I always tell these fucking guys to bring it. Okay, you know what, though? You know? How about a system? A system. I can't there has be to on be. Top of everybody. No, you just I need can't. to have them. You know, have I, I, I a can't. system. You know, how many times do I have to fucking babysit? Really? You know what? Your problem is you want to be a babysitter. You don't I'm want to let them have fucking, fucking control of things. Okay? Then fire them. Things should be labeled. Things should be dated. Things should. I mean, we. It's basic. Basic. Last night, Chef Ramsay was disgusted and disappointed in the mess he uncovered in the kitchen. Today, he is hoping that Peter and Elise are no longer in denial. Good morning. Come through, please. Come over. Let's sit down over here. Right, how are we feeling? A little shaky. A little shaky? Yes, sir. You know, with the events that happened last night, uh, I think we're all embarrassed. Uh, we're here to listen to you, to show us a new way to do things. But at the same time, I cannot let go of some of the things that happened last night. Like what? Give me an example. The refrigerator back there it wasn't as bad as I made out. Yes, sir. What I saw last night was disgusting. Your refrigeration unit was one of the most disgusting fridges I've ever seen. You are the owner. And it's about time that you, sir, Start taking responsibility for what you're running. We are about fresh food, and I'm not going to serve my customers any spoiled food if I know it's spoiled. Never. The food that we served last night, it was fresh. Yesterday morning, I made this food. So you cannot tell me that we're sitting in the goddamn refrigerator and collecting mold and all that shit. We don't leave things like that that long. So you clearly don't know about the spoiled food in the fridge. Then do you think I'm going to serve that? Why is it there? My employees are not as stupid to do that. Oh, really? And we get it, and I... She just sat there like nothing's wrong. I never said nothing is wrong. Stood I said there. I would never serve oh, that. No, but it's our fault, and we make up all these excuses. Stop the excuses. Let's just go forward. It... Yesterday was a disaster. Disaster. So can we put that in the past and just walk forward? But the food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. So you can tell me that. Let's get real, shall we? Because if you're not going to listen and you're not going to take responsibility, I'm done. Oh, God. I'm out of here. With Peter refusing to really comprehend the problems of the restaurant. The food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. Chef Ramsay is wondering why he should continue to stay. I'm done. Oh, God. Last night, I think that it was reality in our face. We have dropped the ball. This is not what we are. 
not what we are, but it's our fault. It, we, we can't blame anyone. It's our fault. We let it happen. We need to step up and take back the restaurant. Are you willing to work with us, Chef Ramsey? I mean, do you think that we're savable? I'm trying to, but when you can't accept the real problems, there's no chance. I need help for improvement. Help us. Show us the way, please. We love this place. We live for this place. My life is this place. I haven't given up, but my focus has been gone. I need your help to pull me back to where I was before. I think we need to not go back to how we were when we were successful. We need to move forward and reinvent it. Yeah, you're right. Peter, we've got to let go of the past. You've got to change. Even though change is scary, you need to. Yes. You need to change. We have to change our ways. Yanis cannot succeed like that anymore. He cannot stay open like that anymore. And this is my reality check. And Peter, here's another thing. What I saw last night wasn't pretty. Peter Mew was so negative. And if Elise is determined to be in the kitchen, you have to nurture her and support her. Do you ever tell her she does a good job? Uh, never. No, it shows. I mean, I'm sorry if I yell at you guys before, you know, maybe with no reason and stuff, but the pressure was on. And well, I guess I didn't know how to relieve the pressure or how to fix that, the pressure. You know, at the end of the night when it's all said and done, well, instead of calling a chef Ramsey in here to make you say it, you could say it once in a while. Well, like I say, things are going to change. Good. It will change. You do know, you mean that? I do. 100%. I'm not a man that backs down. I'm not an egomaniac, Nothing but I have a pride. Happen. We're moving forward. Moving forward. I really hope that he's willing to change not only our relationship, but everything. It's long overdue. <laughs>Now that Peter appears to be open-minded, Chef Ramsay has an assignment for the family, modifying the major thing that Peter has been most stubborn about. Book for you, a novel for you, an encyclopedia for you, and you and I are gonna share. The menu. Look at each and every page together and throw out what's not selling. Get ready to cut out a lot. I'll be back in five minutes, okay? okay. Feta and olives? No, that's must. Souvlaki's? No. Chicken scottas? Out. No, that's not out. Seriously, you come on. Chicken dishes? People come in here, they're used to this menu, and, and oh, it's well. like, oh, well, new I people are going to come. I don't want to lose this menu. New people so. are going to come. No, we're changing. I mean, this is your time to change. It's like walk away from the menu. Just take it out. How many items is it to begin with? Too many. Oh, my god. <laughs> I did realize so many. I've had this menu for 28 years, but I think it's time for me to listen to others. Leave my ego out the door. 55 iron menu, I never, I just, that's the only way for this restaurant to succeed. Okay, we have to. Saganaki and fasolia is out. Okay, chicken scottas? Off. 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 I can't believe that my dad actually let us take a Sharpie and cross off all these menu items. We don't need those saucy beef dishes out. This is the first time I've seen my dad actually listen to my mom and my sister and I and not have to take control of the situation. Wow. OK, good. That's our menu. Oh, wow. Well, just, just that on one page? 64 to 21. And wait a second, are you smiling? <laughs> this, huh? this is weird. <laughs> what? Man, there's no tears on three or either. It's I know, don't be <laughs> This is the new direction, and, I, and we're all committed now as a family to make this happen. Good. That's given me a lot to work with. I'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday I wanted to kill him. Now I don't want to hug him. <laughs> with the family recommendations in mind, 
Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen to work and perfect the new Yanni's menu, while his renovation team overhauls the dining room. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Morning. First of all, how is everybody feeling? Do you have a vomit bucket? Oh, Jesus. Three yeah. shot. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I want all of you to take your blindfolds off. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Welcome to New Yanni's. It is stunning. Whoa. That's yeah. it. Oh, man. How beautiful is this restaurant? Oh, my god. It's gorgeous. When I walked in here, it looked like you hadn't updated since 1984. Welcome oh to 2013. God. That is so nice. Oh, my god. Taria, it's nice to see tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, gone is that depressing wall. <laughs> yes. We've replaced it with an amazing gradient paint job. Oh. You know, I love the blue. I love how it just fades out. The wine barrels have gone too. And look, we got rid of that hideous, dated, stained glass and owned up with wonderful wooden trim. And the restaurant looks twice as big now. Oh, God. Also, I've arranged for a complete delivery of brand new China, courtesy of Niagara, China. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you OK, bud? <laughs> Come here, bud. Oh, my God. Come on. Up. Oh, man. How, how are you doing, my country? Let me give you the best. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> to see my father so happy, it's such a great feeling. His true emotion showed. Today marks the greatest day ever at Yanni's Greek restaurant. There's one more thing I need to show you. I think it's going to really help organize you in a way that you've never been organized. This is your new POS system. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> This is the POS Lava system from Zephyr Hardware. This is unique. Servers take orders on touch screens. Orders go directly into the kitchen. Wow. No more trying to figure out what is the thing. And this comes with a, an amazing new app that can be controlled from anywhere. Even from home, it will tell you what's going, what's not working. It will tell you what your top selling dish is. It will give you a detailed report instantly. Oh, my god. This is going to make this restaurant run seamlessly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This is a new day at Yanis. Wow. Thank Chef Ramsey. Now that Yanni's decor has been revamped, uh -huh. uh, Chef Ramsey has taken the family's pared-down menu and created fresh, innovative, modern Greek dishes. We've kept your classics, and we've modernized your approach to the Mediterranean cuisine. Dig in. All right. Uh, enjoy. Where should I start? I think I have blinders before, thinking my food was great. But now that Chef Ramsay showed us new dishes, I'm ready. With Peter fully embracing the new direction of the restaurant. Are you ready? Pumped up, baby. Pumped up, baby. Look Pumped up. Chef Ramsay spends time teaching Elise and Peter different techniques in the kitchen. Just touch that on top. Okay. By doing that, it flattens the skin, Okay, which then gives you a nice, solid base. Chef Ramsay is boosting my confidence so much by teaching me the science behind the dish, and it's amazing. Good. Your plate is exactly the same as my plate. This is the way you two should be working together in harmony. Good evening. Welcome to the new Yanni's. At the start of the relaunch service, Peter and Elise began to battle. I can call. I'll call them back. You call me then. Call me. Yeah. I'm, you just told me, wait a minute. Calm down. Elise is expediting. Listen to her. But Chef Ramsay's enforcement of a new system got them back in sync. Elise, that's just going to be up to you then to stay strong, making sure that we are staying united as a team. New ticket, rotisserie chicken with potatoes. Gyro with potatoes. Work together, guys. Eggplant oh, yeah. moussaka. Yes, I, I got it. it. In there. Good. Out. Chef Ramsay is right. Instead of focusing on the negative and fighting constantly, pick each other up. As for the dining room, this may be one of the most successful relaunches ever. How's everything tasting so far? It's really, really good. With customers raving about the food for the entire evening. Delicious. All of my customers, they're very happy. They're all coming back. Peter and Elise working in the kitchen and actually him being happy and proud of my daughter, I mean, it's priceless. Watching all of you work together is beautiful. Thank you for helping our entire family come together. I am energized for the new Yannis. There is no words 
to thank you enough. The future for Yanni's restaurant it looks great right now. We won't let you down. I want to make him proud. I was serving the best pumpkin hummus I've ever made. That was just a joke. <laughs> Look after each other. Now oh, I'm going to miss this guy. Come back. <laughs> this went from one of the most depressing kitchen nightmares ever to one of the most uplifting. And in a matter of days, this restaurant leaped 30 years. And it's now an excellent Greek restaurant. And I can't ever remember rooting for family more than this one. Wow. Pumpkin hummus. What next? In the weeks that followed, Peter adapted to all the changes made by Chef Ramsay. Father and daughter continued to work well together in the kitchen. All right, our half chicken. The family is also happy to report that for the first time in a long time, Taria <laughs> is doing a lot more smiling than crying. It's a new bright day. I'm not crying. Everett, Washington, 25 miles north of Seattle. This blue collar town is home to the Prohibition Grill, a southern restaurant opened in 2008 by professional belly dancer Rishi Brown. How are my lips? <laughs> They're fine. I had no restaurant experience at all, but I felt like if I could run a successful dance company all of these years, surely I could operate a restaurant business. Can I get anything for you, Molly? No. You good? Yeah. Okay because I have no experience. I don't run my kitchen at all. Two tops, medium, medium, and rare. I hired someone who's had 30 years of restaurant experience. Good job, Rock. Not my first trip to the rodeo. <laughs> He's amazing at his job. He's a little bit lazy. Be right back, Ellen. He likes to smoke. He likes to talk on his phone. Hello. You know, if I have an order, I have to text him that there's an order. How's it tasting over here? It's, it's really bland. bland. We have customers that complain all the time. Yeah. It's mushy. Is it? OK. I've had dishes where I've smelled it, and I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Rocky, the ribs were disgusting. If we could fix it, we would. But Rocky keeps Rishi in the dark a little bit. What, what was the problem with the trout? There was no problem with the trout. All right. Oh, my god. Rishi is a little bit naive. She just sort of trusts Rocky. He has all the skills and all the knowledge. Yum. I don't know anything about what goes on back there. For Rishi to step in from belly dancing into running a restaurant, I don't want to use the word clueless, but she was, because she had no idea. <laughs> There's just some things that she does that I don't think a restaurant owner should do. <laughs> For instance, belly dancing. <laughs> it doesn't go with the theme of our restaurant. It makes no sense. Customers think it's weird. You know, I've been in the business 20 years. I know how a business is supposed to be run, and this is not the way. We got to get more people in here. <laughs> Unbelievable. If Prohibition Grill fails, I lose everything. I'm really discouraged. I really need help, because I'm at a complete loss to understand what's happened. And I'm not stupid, but I really don't know what's going on. Wow. Here he comes. Whoa. Wow, look at that. It's like something you get given in Vegas. You've learned to belly dance. What the hell has that got to do with the restaurant? Hi, welcome. Hello. I'm Rishi. Rishi, nice to yeah, see you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, that one's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. Uh, am I coming for lunch, or are we having a, 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 a belly dance? <laughs> Do the owners know this goes on? Yeah, absolutely. I am the owner. Oh, you are the owner? Yes. How long have you been doing this? this 30 is... years. And then you bought a restaurant? Yes. And you still belly dance? Yes. It's really wow. fun. Yeah. Wow. It's about undulating and shimmying. Right. Rolling the body in motion with vibration. Oh, <laughs> That's annulating. That's, That's just like annulating. rolling your tummy. That's right. Wow. OK. Yes. Uh, whew, geez. <laughs> um, so 
How do you go from belly dancing to becoming a Russian tour? Well, I decided over a cocktail one afternoon. Right, OK. <laughs> uh, were well. you inebriated at the time? Did it sort of make your <laughs> mind a little lightheaded? Yeah, I remember it and well. <laughs> But then uh, once it happened, the idea came in. There it was, it stayed. But had you ever worked in a restaurant before? Or? Um, I worked as a server for about six months one time when I was in college. Wow, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and style of food, what is that? Uh, we do a gourmet southern menu here. Gourmet. Uh -huh. wow. Fine wow. dining. We kind of have a steakhouse theme here going on, dinner house theme. Dinner house, steakhouse. Yeah. Fine dining. Yes, with a southern. little southern flair to it. Wow. Um, OK. In your mind, what's the biggest problem? In my mind, um, well, we don't have a grill here, so we'll pour, we don't have a grill here. It's called Prohibition Hence Grill. Prohibition Grill, right? Wow. A Prohibition Grill with no grill. <laughs> wow. Yeah. OK. Let me take a seat. Sure. I have a special seat right back here for you. OK, great. Uh, nice boots, by the way. Oh, thank you. I really believe in what we've done here, and I'm sure that Chef Ramsay is going to love the food today. Um, have you just been to a party, or...? No, I just no. got all dressed up just for you today. Oh, so you just... You, you don't dress like that normally? No, I do dress like this normally. Oh, you do dress like yeah. that normally? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so I'm not special. Anyway, never mind. Um, Actually, I'm, you I'm, are, yeah, right. because this is a special occasion for sure. I got a little more dolled up, but right. this is my normal wow. get up. OK, great. Um, it's a big menu, huh? Yeah. Wow, Prohibition Grill, Southern Cuisine. Yes. Chef Rocky strives for originality and diversity, focusing on the quality of freshness. And without a grill, that's quite a statement. So, <laughs> it's so true. Well, OK. Um, how do you rate the food? Uh, what do you give your food out of 10? I give our food a 10. A I ten. think it's, yeah, I think it's amazing. I love everything on the menu. OK, great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Chef Ramsay. Thanks for coming. And enjoy your lunch today, OK? Thank you. What a uh, bizarre dress sense from the owner. I mean, she looks like she's in a fancy dress Britney Spears concert party. Hello. Hello. I am Candace. How are you? How are you? Yeah, well. Thank Very you. nice to meet you. Well, it's good to see you too. So, did Rishi get a chance to go over the menu at all with you? Um, she did briefly. Um, let's order, shall we? Okay. Um, what's the soup of the day? The soup of the day is jalapeno corn chowder. Mm -hmm. What was it yesterday? Jalapeno corn chowder. Oh, so soup every two days. And last week? Uh, so soup of the week. It's soup of the week. Uh, let's yeah. have a soup of the week. <laughs> yes. OK, um, let's go for the filet. How would you like that prepared? Um, medium rare, please. Medium rare. Let's go for the collard greens as well, the sides. The balsamic brown sugar glazed salmon. And do you know what? Just throw me in a portion of the pan-fried oysters. OK, we'll get that started for you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so here's my list. So we're going to do the like, oysters. So why don't I start with a cup of soup? OK, dokey. Yeah? OK. I was just seeing what you ordered. I thought those were really great choices. Our uh, oysters are wonderful here. And my chef always makes the best soups. Can I just let you into a little secret? Sure. Not in front of your customers? Can I whisper? Sure. Soup of the day is not soup of the day. It's the same soup that was on two weeks ago. What's happening? Soup of the day. Means a daily changing soup. Oh. I didn't even know what the soup of the day meant. I thought that just meant what soup we were serving that day. Wow. Yeah, wow. that was lame. Soup of the day. A new soup every day. Okay, I'm going to talk to him about that. Wow. I didn't realize that soup of the day meant a fresh soup every day. Yeah. I thought soup of the day meant what is our soup for the day. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not that stupid. It's just that's what I understood that meant. Candace, please. Chef Ramsey, here is our soup. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. OK. Wow. Soup of the week. Mm. That's just slop. Horrible, nasty loop with some sort of 
dusting around the outside of the plate. Did you have a chance to taste the soup? Yeah, I had a chance, yeah. OK, I'm and? Small. Uh, yeah, just uh, not nice. Gnarly. Should I just get that out of here? Uh, yes, please. OK. Uh, when was the last time you tasted it? Um, I haven't tasted it. You didn't have this soup? I haven't had this soup. Wow. Rocky, we've had the same soup for seven days. Made it Saturday. But we wrapped it and stored it properly. OK, I'm going to tell you what. The oysters are going to be fresh and delicious, made right now for you. You mean opened? You don't make an oyster. You just open them. Huh? Oysters are opened. Oh, got it. No, he's not opening them daily. Oh, so he's opening the oysters and... No, he's buying them pre-opened. And were they bought? I think they came in today. Will you just check? Yes. Thank you. Rocky? Yes? When were the oysters delivered? They were delivered here Friday. They were delivered Friday. Right. Yes. So the fresh oysters aren't exactly fresh, but they're from five days ago. Five days ago. But we don't get them here frozen. Mm, that's, that's, that's good to know. Frozen oysters right. in Seattle. That would be bad. Right. So far, nothing is quite as it seems. OK. So these are the oysters. OK, great. Hand-fried oysters. Thank you. You're welcome. Normally, an oyster should taste of something salty, creamy, delicious. These are just tasteless. So he's managed to take a delicious tasting oyster and turn it into something that's cake and cornmeal and tastes of nothing. How are the oysters? Yeah, they're bland. They just taste of nothing. I mean, I just have a little, just have a little, just a small touch. I don't eat our oysters. Oh, you don't, oh, oh, you don't eat them? I don't eat oh, them wow. here. They're not fresh, so. No. I only like fresh oysters. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I'm not going to try those oysters. I think that they're gross. I know better. I'm not trying them. Um, he absolutely hated these. He thought they were gross. They're way too much cornmeal, bland, had absolutely no flavor. Hmm. That's interesting. That makes no fucking sense. Chef Ramsay is in the middle of sampling Prohibition's menu. They're bland. They just taste of nothing. OK. And he's like already bad. discovered a lack of freshness, a lack of flavor, and a real lack of basic restaurant knowledge by the owner. I wouldn't try the oysters because they're not fresh. Well, I thought fresh means that it's not frozen. Usually it means, like, fresh from the day, shell. Fresh from the shell. Right. Fresh from the, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm like, like soup of the day. Check. Yeah. OK. Wow. Let's try this. OK, this is a filet this is mignon. This filet mignon. This is the collard greens. Collard greens. And it's wrapped in bacon, right? Wrapped in bacon, yes. Thank you, madame. You're welcome. I mean, it's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. It's got a horrible taint to it. Well, how did we do on this? Yeah, this is yeah, not very good. It's a horrible grayness to it. I don't know what he's done. It's almost like the meat's been boiled. And those there, collard greens with just mush. Wow. May I take it out Please. of your way? And thank you, mate. <sighs> 10 out of 10 so far. I'm zero out of 10, let me tell you. Uh, these are really mushy and tasteless and Oh, yeah. Rishi's like, oh, I'll be the judge of that. That's ridiculous. Those are incredibly wonderful. Yes, they are. They are a little mushy. They're, they're, mushy. they're a little mushy. That is the only problem, but the flavor profile is perfection. And the flavor? He thinks that it's been boiled. Boiled? boiled? I think it's good. Do yeah. you like it? I know it's perfect. I know it is. So here we actually have the salmon. Bloody hell. Yeah. That's the salmon. That's the salmon. <laughs> and why does the salmon go in a pinwheel? I don't I don't know. Thank you. I mean honestly, look at that plate. I mean, little balls of hush puppies, massive wedge of cornbread that looks like a door opener, and a pinwheel that fits perfectly, you know, on the side of my tomato. Wow. That 
is fucking disgusting. Pinwheel? Yeah, I feel like doing a cartwheel out of here. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, he's banging his hands on his head. That's really bad. Is he allergic to salt? No. There's no seasoning on there whatsoever. Aged balsam and vinegar, macerated with brown sugar on salmon, needs to be backed up with salt. Shall I take no. it away? Please, yeah, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Holy crap. OK. Hayden, I like this. He thinks that the balsamic, the reduction, needs to be backed up with salt. Hmm. He wants to know the idea between the pinwheel of the salmon. He doesn't understand it. I think it's interesting. I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a cool presentation on the plate. I like it. OK. Way to stand up for your food, Reese. Way to stand up for your food. But I do. I like that. That's one of my favorite things on our menu is that presentation of the salmon. What can you do? Oh, shit. Here he comes. Introduce me to the team. This is Jeff. Jeff. Hi. Dennis. Dennis. Yep. And this is Rocky. Right. I feel like I've just gone 12 rounds with you, let me tell you. Let me read you something. Prohibition Grill Southern Cuisine. Chef Rocky strives for quality and freshness. Correct. Freshness? The soup from last week that was called Soup of the Day. Gloopy, under-seasoned. It wasn't even hot. It was just hideous. Big fan of that soup. Big fan of the soup. What I've just eaten has been an embarrassment. Pan-fried oysters, just solid cornmeal with no seasoning. It needs some form of seasoning. I didn't know that. You don't even know what soup of the day is. I told to you about the pinwheel of salmon. Can you go and get me a pinwheel? Yes. Hurry up, please. Chef Ramsey, I like the pinwheel. I'm not asking you like it. Oh. You give your food 10 out of 10, so right. me talking to you about food, it's like, yeah, I'm talking to a brick wall behind you. Right. I liked it. I thought it looked nice and kind of unique and different. Kind of unique and different? Yeah. And how many strips did you get out of a salmon? 14. Like, until I just looked at it, I didn't even think this was so small. Right. And even the bloodline's on there as well. Nasty. Chef to chef, have you any idea how bad that makes you look? On decisions about how food is prepared, I believe in what they do back there. That's their thing, especially Rocky. Come on. Color greens, overcooked, tasteless mush. I thought they tasted great. They and were you know overcooked, what? though. You knew they were overcooked. Have right. you any idea how fucking deluded you sound? What? How can something be fucking delicious and overcooked? There's no such thing. Man. Uh. Are customers that stupid? Are you? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. And you are. Yes, sir. Why did you ask me here if your food's 10? Well, I was hoping that you could come here and help me get this business to the next level, because I can't seem to do that on my own right now. How bad is your business currently? How much money per week are you losing? At least $2,000. So that's $8,000 a month. That's 100 grand a year. Does that not sink in anyone's fucking mind? I don't know what to say. I like the food. I think the food is great here. After only a short time in the restaurant, Chef Ramsay is shocked by how lazy Chef Rocky is and how clueless Rishi is. Can you get me some lipstick? Uh-huh. And before dinner service, there is one issue he wants to take care of right away. Prohibition grill. My ass. No more false advertising. He's putting tape over the grill. Excellent. I got a crab cake going out with a Caesar and a small salad. Where's Rishi, by the way? She's getting ready for belly dancing. Tonight? We're ready to go on the second check as well. Candace, you're up. Where was this? What? Cornbread. Huh? When was this cornbread made? That was made the other day, and we weren't even going to serve it. We just threw it back here because we weren't even going to serve it. 
You we just made, threw it. We, we oh, Dennis, 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 big deep breath. You just made it. Made it the, the other, other day. Yeah. Threw it back here because you weren't serving it. Because, yeah, it got, bur it got burnt and Rocky told me just go throw it in the back room for right now. I just feel that. Oh, I know, it's terrible. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Music, 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 music. You are kidding me. Five, six, seven, and. Are you fucking serious? I'm not joking, you. Oh my god. <laughs> Close the doors, put me off my dinner. Can't move. She's just in her own world, and she thinks that everybody's loving it. And as you look around, you can tell that people are confused. <laughs> Some even mortified. Chef Ramsay locked himself in the freezer to get away from the Billy dancing. Oh my god. It is weird. Yeah. <laughs> belly dance. That was a belly flop. Following the impromptu belly dance. Kitchen, please. So this is pretty much rare, and they wanted a medium steak. There's a steady stream of undercooked dishes coming back to the kitchen. Back in the oven, please. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Colleen. This supposed to be medium? Oh, God. Oh, no, come on. God. What is this? Rocky, could you put these steaks on uh, just a tiny bit more? All right, guys, this is just in the last five minutes. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, can someone get a grip, please? Another medium refire. This is normal, all these complaints with temperatures on meat. Mm -hmm. Especially on the steaks. Is that acceptable to you? No. People hate our food. So far, so good this evening. And she turns a blind deer, which frustrates us all, you know? Why does Rishi walk around like everything's just perfect and a big smile on her face? That's what she believes oh, no. it all is. What's wrong, darling? What's wrong? The ravioli's cold. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the kitchen needs help. Lots. Is everything tasting good? Yeah. <laughs> the gravy feels like I got the, the bottom of the pot. OK, thanks for your comments. Um, I just want to let you know at this table right here, they both think that the gravy tastes like it came out of the bottom of the pan. They're really unhappy about that. Should I just go ahead and take that we back should... to the kitchen then? Yeah, it's your restaurant. Yeah. Which table? Yeah. Where would... This table right Let's here. Let's deal with it now. Okay. Um, my apologies. Madam, if you're not happy with it, I'd rather you didn't eat it. The sauce tastes like liver. Can we fire a fresh chicken for the lady yeah. with no sauce? Sorry about that. We'll get that going for you. Can you taste the gravy? I'm going to taste Please. it, yeah. It tastes really gritty to me. Where is it? Now I see, Where? right here. Jeff, can you pass me that gravy? Everyone's complaining now about the gravy. I see why they think it tastes like liver, because it's really gritty. What was it made? Gravy was made last week and frozen. Last week and frozen. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's sour. All of you. Get any plate of gravy off the tables off now. Off the tables now. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dry as anything. The meat's cooked and raw on the same shelf. Rocky, you got the ribs there. What's next to the ribs? Raw pork. Raw pork. Get yeah, Rishi, please. Rishi. Rule number one. Cross-contamination. Ex explain to Rishi. Never saw a cooked product next to a raw product. So just look at that. What is that there? Raw product. Raw pork. What's that there? Cooked ribs. Cooked ribs. And this here, what is this, guys? Oh, my god. It's trout. What is New that? New trout, old trout. Just feel how sticky that is on top. That's the old trout. And that there is the fresh one underneath, right? That we pulled today. Now you pulled today. What is that? Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Bread what? Oh, my god. Rocky, come on. When was that cooked? Saturday. What day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. And what we didn't sell on Saturday, what do you think should happen? It's it. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry and I'm so disappointed, but whatever you're eating now, just stop. Stop. 
Dinner service at the Prohibition Grill has just gone from plain bad. What is that there? Raw product. What's that there? Cooked ribs. To downright dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you're eating now, just stop. And Chef Ramsay has had enough. I am not going to stand here and watch this kitchen send you food that is A, cross-contaminated, B, reheated from frozen. It's an absolute embarrassment. Yeah, obviously not serving anything else. There won't be any more food coming to the table tonight. We're really sorry about this experience. We had a lot of really unsatisfied, unhappy guests tonight, and that hurts. I can't help you one minute longer. Do you know why? Why? Because you, madam, cannot help yourself. Lazy chef. OK, well, this is the deal. First of all, I've known about Rocky being lazy for a really long time. I've called him out on it a thousand times. And you know what I get? This is what you get for how much you pay me. I don't make enough. This is, you That's know. That's not entirely accurate. Well, what? it is accurate. Like, he and I go around once a year about this exact thing, because he doesn't make the money that he wants to make. I like him so much in so many ways and so many things that he does, but he's not held to the same standard that everybody else is held to here by me, because what am I going to do? I don't know how to come in here. I don't know how to fucking train anybody else. I so, don't know how to butch the meats. So, I don't know how so to do anything. So you fear losing a chef? Yes. That doesn't yes. care? Yes. That's ruining your business. There's some things Rocky is doing good, and every single time... What do I do a word with you? Because I, I, I can't fucking sit here and take this shit any longer. Ugh. I am not going to listen to excuses. You keep on telling me that he's good and he's... Well, because he's been here with me all these four years, and, and my feeling is is that he has the, the skills to do it. Why are you convinced that he has the skills to do it? Because I don't know about that job, and he's been here since day one, and he has led me to believe he He's led me to believe. He has. He has. And intuitively, I've known it. You allowed him to take you hostage. I have. So you deserve what you get then. Because you're not prepared to step up. No, I stepped up. I fired him two months ago. He was gone for a week in the kitchen. They didn't know how to do the order. They just didn't know. And then I brought him back again. I actually feel sorry for you. Do you know why? You're being used. Step up. Yeah. Get a grip. Yeah. Because time right now. It's not your friend. I'm done for tonight. Yeah. Chef Ramsay thinks he's unbelievably lazy, has got me over a barrel, and the fact that I allow him to be the kind of chef that he is here is unacceptable. Well, and he's gotten away with it for so long. Like, how, how is he going to change his behavior after this long? After shutting down the restaurant, Let's have a little seat over here. Chef Ramsay is completely bewildered. He's looking for some explanation, and he begins the day with Rishi and her staff. Let's be honest, last night was a disaster. Everyone agreed? Yeah, yes. absolutely. And customers were absolutely at their wit's end. I mean, there was one table in the front there that had the dish refired three times. When was the last time that happened? I'd say it happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Candice? Absolutely. What is the response from the chef? He usually takes it really personal mm -hmm. and thinks that they're wrong and the, food, right. and the food tastes just fine. What does that tell you? It's Rocky. He and I started here at the same time, yeah. and he was very Sorry. passionate. Uh, in the last two years, 30% maybe. Wow. Uh, last time I worked, got 15 orders. He goes outside behind the building. 15 orders, and your head chef is outside smoking. smoking. And I just don't feel like going outside to get him, so I text him. Do you think it's right that he should be outside and you have to text him to come in? Oh, God, no. No. 
and we have to supplement Rocky's income by tipping. On average a week, we tip about 3%. 3% of, of the food, food sales. sales. The head chef getting tips? He told me that that's what other people do in other restaurants, and that's fair. They put the food out to give the server the opportunity to yes. earn the tips, so, so they should told deserve we, that. That's not we've told her, though, that's not how it is in the industry. No, it's not. He's made me feel this way over time, that I owe him. Why do you owe him? Because I'm afraid that I can't make this happen without him, because... So you because think I not... just I feel like I don't have the experience to know what to do so, if I don't have someone who... So you think he's not replaceable? Right. So how many people feel that this restaurant would be better off without Rocky? Sorry. Why do you support Rocky the way you're doing? I'm just scared to take that chance. Rishi, this is crazy. I know. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm not like that in any other places this in my life. This is crazy, my darling. You should not be put in this awful, vulnerable situation and be beholden to a chef that's tearing you apart. Rishi is completely afraid of change. She doesn't like to change her hair. She doesn't like to change her house. She doesn't like to change anything. Do you mind if I just talk to Rishi alone, please? I'm just scared because I, because <laughs> when I when I did this, I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. And then last night when you just stood up and you told Rocky, just stop making excuses. This is wrong. You're lazy. I just have been so scared to do that. I appreciate your honesty. I can really feel, especially today, that you care. But when I first arrived, you were almost tiptoeing over the issues as opposed to tackling them head on. I know. But with Rocky, just even if he steps up right now, who's to say what's going to happen? I can't even tell you. But why let the misery go on? I don't want to. I'm just so scared. <laughs> Help me. I'm here. I'm here. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm so upset. Come on. I'm here. I'm going to get this thing sorted. Okay. I was too scared to make that decision with Rocky and not have any anyone there that could say, okay, well, let's right. do this. Okay, <laughs> no, I need to find someone else. But I'm just afraid that there's not going to be somebody else that, because he has me believing that, like, I, know. I don't pay enough to have, I really Listen do. to me and listen very carefully. <laughs> I will do all I can to find you a chef. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is your decision, your business, your future, and your money. You need to take responsibility. I can't do that for you, OK? I You're know good. it has to be done. Why would I want to go forward with someone who's sabotaging my business? Don't worry, OK? Thank you so much. I'll see you shortly. I'm getting on the phone. Okay. Stand strong, okay. OK? It's the right thing to do to let Rocky go. After a heart-to-heart -heart with Chef Ramsay, Rishi now finally understands what is the main problem of the restaurant. Oh, Rish. OK, so I'm going to fire Rocky today because Chef Ramsay's going to help me find someone. It became very clear to me that Rocky's not gonna change. Even if he says he's gonna step up and blah, 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 he's not gonna change. That's the right thing to do. It's your business, it's your livelihood. It's, it's your life. So now what? Oh, fuck. Hello. Hi. Hey. <sighs> What's going on? Just said, oh, I'll get, get going out the door. Ah, oh, man. 
Okay, so um, I don't want to. I don't want to beat around the bush about it. Unfortunately, I'm letting you go. It just things haven't changed, even after our last reconciliation. Things still haven't changed. I'm sorry. Yeah, I. Uh, I understand. You know, I've gotten complacent, and uh, I realize that. And uh, sorry I had to come to this. I'm sorry. I'm so relieved to know that I don't have to feel like I'm held hostage anymore. I have the courage now to make the changes necessary. Rocky. You know, it went really well. Um, Rocky took responsibility for what happened. He didn't try to make me feel like it was my fault or right. or anything. Good. I felt like a boss. I Good. felt empowered. I felt like Good. I'm making the right decision and Good. I'm going to make it right now. Yeah. Let's get the rest of the staff. Okay. okay. You and I are going to have a little fun. Right, team. I want all of you just to go in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, do you have any trousers or uh, jeans or nope. no? No, that's oh. it. That's it. Wow. <laughs> you're, like a, you're like a naked chef. I know, right? <laughs> when was the last time you actually cooked a dish in here? Never. You've never cooked in here? Ever? Ever? No. Wow. You should never, ever be intimidated by the kitchen. Right. With Rocky, I never felt invited to come into my kitchen. I felt like that was his place and my place was my job. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. To be really honest, please. I love to cook. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. That is good to know, you know that. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> right, first on, slow cooked duck salad. A little touch of olive oil. Just a touch. We've got some fresh herbs, frisé salad. Now, your turn. Take your spoon and just baste over the duck legs, please. Tilt the pan and baste. Nice. There we are. Does she look great in the kitchen, by the way? Yes, she does. Huh? Yes, she does. <laughs> Good. There you go. How's that now? Way better. Good. Hold the bone. Sit that. Nice. Perfect. Yay! Yeah. Wow. Thank you. She just cooked those dishes there with me, like a boss, like an owner. That's what you've got to do when you've taking the responsibility of opening a restaurant. It's about having a presence. Right, I want you all to get a knife and fork, we're gonna sit down, have a bite to eat. It's amazing how just being in the kitchen with Chef Ramsay, I felt really empowered. Now this is a 10. <laughs> this is a 10. <laughs> I am not going to be afraid anymore. <laughs> I love it. After a great deal of research, Chef Ramsay and his team worked through the night to transform the restaurant from a southern-style grill into a gastropub. Hey, good morning. How are we? Good. Good. Now I have some very, very exciting changes to show you. Woo! Right, take off your blindfolds. Prohibition Grill is no longer a grill. Welcome to your new gastro pub. <laughs> We've brought out the texture of those amazing bricks. The chevrons give it that modern feel. Look at the bar. We've brightened up the whole room with that beautiful red lacquered bar. I love it. You love this? I love it. It's a good time for a change. Yeah. I'm so excited right now here in Everett. Nobody has a building that looks like this. It's beautiful in here. I love it. Rishi, yesterday I made you a promise that I would find you a chef. <gasps> chef Ramsay. This chef God. has cooked for over 20 years in the Northwest. Oh, God. I'm going to introduce <laughs> you to Tyler Pelagi. Chef! <laughs> How are you, sir? Let me tell you something about this young man. He is opening up his very own cool, hip, amazing restaurant in downtown Seattle, Radiator. Yep. Now, until then, he's going to be here with you, Rishi. And after he's gone, he'll make sure there's a chef replacing him that is up to the standards of what both you and Chef requires. Excited? Yes! Good. Now I feel like I have a real chance for real success. I'm so grateful to have you here. In keeping with the new gastropub theme, 
Oh my God. Oh, wow. Yum. Chef Ramsay has designed a menu that can be easily executed in Rishi's small kitchen. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, Chef Ramsay, I'm so excited. Good. I want you all to dig in, have a taste. Here you go, honey. Thank you. I'm going to start oh over my here. Gosh. Oh my God. That was amazing. With the food and the decor now looked after, Chef Ramsay has one more makeover to reveal. And that is Rishi. Wow, you look amazing. Thanks. I oh. love it. How's my hair look? Obviously, it's about time. Rishi's attire, it was a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> With Chef Tyler now at the helm, new systems have been implemented. Yeah, and I'm right on top. Good. And that includes Rishi taking a lead role as expediter. When I fire entrees, I take and stick them here. Perfect. Fire left one, please. Left one heard. To spread the word about the new prohibition, Chef Ramsay invited influential bloggers. That bourbon glaze is fantastic. I'm absolutely amazed and so proud of Rishi for taking charge of her restaurant. Put your right hand up. <laughs> yes. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will no longer be hosting belly dancers. I will no longer be hosting belly dancers. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> good night, my darling. Okay, good Take night, care. Chef Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you. The knowledge that he's given me to empower me to be a real restaurant owner, I've never had that. <sighs> this has to be one of the most unusual kitchen nightmares ever. Rishi had no idea that her loyalty towards Rocky was actually ruining her business. Thankfully, she saw the light, stepped up, and made a very, very brave decision. More importantly, she now understands the key ingredients to running a successful dining room. Belly dancing is not one of them. Soul food, belly dancing in the Northwest. Wow. In the weeks that followed, the one and only gastropub in Everett, Washington is a hit. Onion soup, crab cakes. And for the first time since she opened. All right, and the salmon for you, my dear. Rishi truly feels she is in control of her very own restaurant. I'm so excited that Everett has a, a restaurant like this. I know. Nashville, Tennessee, the epicenter of country music and home to Chappie's Restaurant, a Cajun eatery owned by John Chappie Chapman and his wife, Star. They're pretty. I started when I was about two and a half with my mother in the kitchen. I was the one that would put the crabs in the pot. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We opened our first Chappies in a little town called Long Beach, Mississippi in 1984. Bon appetit. And it was a huge overnight success. But in 2005, after Hurricane Katrina destroyed the restaurant, Chappie and Star were forced to relocate to Nashville. Chappie, my table doesn't like the crab cakes or the turtle soup. That's the Nashville folks we know and love. I think people in Nashville have a problem with New Orleans cuisine. They hate it all. <laughs> oh, well, these people don't know. Fun. I definitely don't think our issue is the people of Nashville. Food is in the back. It's overcooked and it tastes fishy. The issue is more chappy. Don't argue. Move on. Chappy is extremely hard-headed. There's nothing wrong with my food. Yeah. Both came back. If Chappy would listen to feedback, the business would be doing much better. <laughs> it's a barrel Monday. That's what I need working. The menu, it's like a book. I do want to let you know about some appetizers that we're featuring tonight that are not listed. Not to mention the 15, 16 things we have to recite. We have crab cakes in here. Swordfish piccata. We also have our blackened shrimp. Two lobster tails that stacked on top of one another twice. I think that's it. That's a lot to remember. I said it's you fair, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see how he, he makes any money. We do not have the volume to be able to sell all that stuff. Chappies definitely needs an update. It's not 1984 anymore. They called, they want their wallpaper back. Chappie on 120. The lady did not like the salad dressing. What was the matter with it? She said the blue cheese dressing is too thin. Just get her out of here. Yes, Chappie. 
everybody thinks they know better. So it's my job to make sure it stays the way it's supposed to be. What are y'all doing? I need to know. We're taking the prime rib off of his check because he didn't like it and he returned it. He didn't it. like the other one either. He sent them both back, the fish too. John, John, for Chappies to be saved, I think we need Chappie to change. Why waste my time? And it's not about your pride or your experience. It's about doing what you need to do to help your business evolve and go to the next level. I don't know what's happening. Ultimately, the success of Chappies relies on Chappie. Oh, jeez. Wow. What is that? Ghastly. Hello. Hi, welcome. Wow, what an entrance <laughs> that was. That mannequin's fucking scary. No, jeez. God, it spooked me. <laughs> First name is? I'm Nicole. Uh, nice to see you. Wow, this place is like a museum in here. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yes, got a lot of uh, New Orleans wow. paraphernalia everywhere. Chappie and Star, actually, his wife, had a restaurant on the Gulf Coast. Wow, wow, wow. Is that him there with a big chef's hat? That is, yeah. Wow. Where is the man? Uh, he is actually in the kitchen. I'd like to have a quick word with him. Sure. Let me go check. Thank you. I'll be right back. Oh, wow, what's that? It looks like a costume that Elton John would wear. Is that Chappie? Wow. Hey, Chappie. Uh, Hi, Chef, Chef Ramsey just got here, and before he sits, he wants to know if you have a second to chat with him. It'll, just, it'll be just a few minutes. OK. He is going to be right out. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> yeah, he'll, he's going to be right out, he told me. Is he alone in the kitchen? Does he have any assistance? Mm -mm, no, he's he's got some back there. He's uh, I think there's three men back there with him. Um, wow. Let me go check and see uh, how yeah. he's doing. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are we getting close, Chappie? Yeah. Okay. He is right up in the front. I'm gonna get a glass of water, then I'll go meet Darth Vader. <sighs> wow. How are you? Good, nice to meet you. Those pants are. Uh, I'm bright. a hot pepper, brother. Wow, wow, wow. Throw back to the 80s? It's just something I've always worn. Wow, look at that thing there. That's huh? when I was cute and young. Cute and young? How long you ago was that? You remember those days? I do. <laughs> Well, just take me back to the beginning. How long have you been here? Since uh, June of 06. Right. After Katrina. Mm -hmm. What's the comparison between here and Mississippi? Mississippi was kind of uh, never ending, because like 23 years. So it was a long time in successful business and doing what I do. Amazing. And here, talk me through the first two years, business-wise. Kind of a rough uh, beginning here in Nashville. Of course, we were the new guys in town, people are afraid of us. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't do traditional Nashville food, no. our burgers and pulled pork and no. chicken wings. We don't do that. So no. we, we do the New Orleans food. So a lot of people were afraid. And this is what we're trying to deal with still mm -hmm. to this day. And here, you're taking a play on fine dining? Uh, it's it's it, more like I'm taking a play on casual fine dining. Yeah, but I mean, look at those napkins. Yeah. Um, waiters, bow ties. I mean, it doesn't strike me as somewhere casual. I mean, it's quite formal, huh? Uh, no. Right. OK. My god, I've been doing this a long time. I've eaten all over the world. I see what people do. I don't think I'm so far off. And how would you rate your food currently out of 10? What would you give it? I wouldn't put it out of it. I didn't think it was delicious. Just ask him. So I give him a 10 every time I do it, you know? OK. Well, let me sit down, have a little look around the menu, and uh, get up to speed with your, uh, your style of cooking. OK. Thank you. I think they have a table over there for you. Yes. I think my food is the best New Orleans cuisine in Nashville, hands down. So I can't figure out why people haven't come and enjoy. All right. I was going to put my chappy hat on. <laughs> well, we actually get a lot of people to do that. <laughs> do you? Uh-huh. Little chappies. OK, so this right. is our lunch selection right Thank here. You. Wow, it's a big lunch menu. Mm-hmm, yeah. Dinner menu is even larger. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Wow. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Fantastic. And yourself? I'm so happy to be here. Well, welcome to Chappie's. My name is TJ. TJ. Nice to Good to see you. We have like 10 different specials. What? As well as uh, five different appetizers. 15 specials? Yes. Number On top of this? Special. Yeah. And they change every day? It's a lot to take in. No eggs, actually. They stayed exactly the same. Huh? They've been the same since I've been here. Wow. 
So you know this um, 895 crawfish? I saw it's on there twice. It's the same on the lunch menu as it is on the dinner menu, only yeah. the price changes. So for lunch menu, the crawfish to Tuve is 895. How much is it for dinner on the special? Uh, 2995. So it jumps $20. And what changes? Nothing. TJ, come on. The price jumps three and a half times for the special and the dinner, and nothing changes. You don't even throw me an extra couple of tails in there. Shame on you, TJ. Well, not me. I, I... Is that just for the crawfish, or is that for all the specials? It's pretty much, it's pretty standard. Wow. So, let's start off with, please. And the fried green tomatoes, please. OK. The chicken and sausage gumbo as well, please. OK. And I've got to go for that steak and lobster rocket. Very good. Thank you. Wow. Fried green tomatoes. Thank you. Fried green. The rest of his order is going in now. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Nice to meet you, Star Chapman. Star, nice to see you. Please, take a seat. Well, welcome. Uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. My first time in Nashville. Really? How I do you like it? Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. We're it's happy to have you. Are you involved in business daily? Always. Are really? Yes, you? hands on. I work the front of the house. I work the office. Wow. I wear many hats. Uh -huh. Have and to. Your husband, of course, Chaffee. Um, how long have you been together? 29 years. 29 years. Yes, wow. sir. Does he listen to your input? Not always. Not always. Why? Because he's a hard-headed man. I think he's uh, set in his ways. But when it's not working, you'd adapt. Exactly. Looking at our menu, I think it's mm -hmm. too big. I think it needs to be downsized. It's too much. You've got to be able to adapt and change. It seems like you've hit a wall. Absolutely. That's, and that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's going to be the, the key. I believe Chef Ramsay is the only person who could turn Chappie around. For me, it's like trying to blow air into a balloon with a hole in it. All right, the uh, fried green tomatoes appetizer. Mm -hmm. Is that parmesan on there? It is, and crawfish tails and hollandaise sauce. Thanks, TJ. You're welcome. I'm dying to taste these okay, uh, fried good. green tomatoes. Well, enjoy. What Thank, you very Thank you. Well, how would you rate the food, by the way? Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I just think it needs to be modernized, revamped, and the menu. She says it's excellent, and yet it needs to be modernized and revamped. And that doesn't sound like excellent. Because surely if it was excellent, you wouldn't have to do any of those things. It's bland. All right, what do we think of the fried green tomatoes? Uh, yeah, bland. Uh, that hollandaise sauce is almost just like a sort of a melted butter. Yeah, it doesn't even taste of anything. Sorry about that. Not your fault. Right, next up would be the chicken and sausage gumbo. Gumbo. Thank you. You're very welcome. You said your hollandaise sauce was extremely bland, just tastes like a strong butter sauce. It's very good. When we bring a dish back to the kitchen, he acts like it's an insult, not that there's possibly something wrong with the actual dish. Gumbo. Wow. It looks like Chappie took a crappy in my gumbo. It's like a puddle. It's just watery. Really watery. That is fucking disgusting. If this dish was done right, it could be a game changer, but right now, it's a game ender. TJ, is there a problem in the kitchen? It's not even hot. It's not hot. No? I mean, it's just like lukewarm and gloopy. See the skin? Yeah. Very watery. There's no flavor anywhere. It's just bland. Gotcha. We'll get it fixed. We'll bring the next one. Thank you. OK. Wow. Shabby, first of all, this is cold. It's just absolutely filled with water. Filled with water? I thought I drained it pretty well. <gasps> Hi. Hey. Hates everything. Uh-oh. He hadn't liked anything I've done so far. All right, garnish it up. Steak and lobster rocket. Steak and lobster rocket. Thank you. That's a very funny looking lobster. Seriously. How much is this dish? $36.95. Gee, come on, stop. And why is the fillet butterfly like that and cut like that? He cuts it off and then pounds it thin. He beats the crap out of a fillet? to tenderize it when it's the most stunning cut. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Do you mind? 
I'll try it. No. Please. <laughs> Come on. That is chewy. The lobster I couldn't even eat. As I was trying to bite down on it, it was bouncing back. Steak and lobster rocket. Someone needs a fucking rock out of his ass to wake up. Oh, my God. We'll right back. Don't swallow that one. Do you need a napkin? <laughs> Maybe Chappy needs to get on a fucking rocket. A rocket back to New Orleans to see how it's properly done. Fast. He said the dish is just a mess. I don't want to throw it down his throat if he doesn't want it. Well, he couldn't even get through the steak. But it was all gristle. It was gristle? Yeah. What do you mean gristle? Gristle and chewy. OK, well, it's like butter. Is it not? Chef Ramsay's a dumbass. You know, if there's something that I think is absolutely wrong, he doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm going to tell him. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. After enduring Chappie's flavorless Cajun cuisine, Can you take me through the kitchen, please? I sure can. Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen, looking for an explanation. I don't know where to start. I was so excited to come here, but I'm disappointed. Did you cook everything? Uh-huh. The fried green tomatoes. What are you coating them in? Corn flour. Corn flour. The little seasoning. For me, there was no seasoning there. It was bland. And holiday sauce was just melted butter. <laughs> yeah. Steak and lobster, rocket. The lobster was like rubber. And when you have a $36 entree, but you don't expect to see filet pounded. That's the last thing you ever do. I've never met a chef anywhere in the world that pounds out a filet. Why would you pound something that is tender? Just the technique of what we do, just shaping it so it fits, stacks. It's not clay, it's meat. The chicken and sausage gumbo, bland. But you know what? Forget the seasoning. It wasn't even hot, it was lukewarm. Well, I sent it out as soon as I did it. So it was actually bubbling hot. Well, yeah, I'm not exaggerating, it wasn't bubbly hot. <laughs> but I don't find it funny. Okay. Can I have a word on my own with the owners, please? You guys get back to whatever you'd be doing. I'm not gonna say this in front of your staff. Okay. You're a joke. The food was disgusting. Everything was off? Everything. And that's without factoring in the prices. Going through each and every dish, there was a, a consistent pattern. It's like you've shut shop up and gone home. Chappie is not very happy. You're done. Are you done? Of what? Just cooking in general. No. That's you at your best. Pardon? That's you at your best. Kind of. Really? Uh, I've toned down some spices for Nashville. When we first opened, people complained. Too oh, salty, every too spicy. Too, too much heat. I'm not looking for excuses. Well, I, I, you know, what can I say? You asked me to help. But I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your asses and say food was amazing. I don't want amazing. you to blow uh, anything back. up my whatever. So let's not go here and go through yeah. this. You've said your piece. Let's move on. Yeah. You've given up. Given up what? OK, I'm going to get some fresh air. Me too. Do it. OK. Wow. Uh, Mark, how does the line work? Fry cook. Fry cook. Who's frying tonight? Real. Chef. Chef. frying tonight. OK, great. Oysters. Wow. Uh, Chef. They stay out like that? It should be Kim. You are kidding me, aren't you? No, no, no. I got my thermometer in the check. Wow. I checked the tip. Uh, listen, I'm not that dumb now. Just put ice in there to check the temperature. I know. Out. Throw some ice and I'll check it. I want to look good. Right now, we got the first ticket. We got a grill grouper working. Yeah. Chappie, you fry the grouper with the beef? We blacken everything in the same pan, yes. What happens if the customer was a pescatarian? A pescatarian? Yeah, they only eat fish. And they don't expect to eat their fish with meat juices. I've never heard of one, to tell you the truth. Oh, my God. Wow, can't believe that's going out. Uh, Tom, turn me to that table. Thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Are you pescatarian? I am. Can I borrow you for two seconds? Would you mind? Thank you. Chappie, have you got two seconds? 
for one of your customers. Really? Yeah. Let me explain something really important, because I'm not fucking around now. This lady is a pescatarian. Strictly fish. What I'm trying to explain, because you're not listening, is that her fish was cooked in there along with the beef. It's not a general practice. It's just something you never do. It's the golden rule, but it's totally oblivious. Do you get sick on meat? Oh, very. I'm sorry. I'll make sure that's in a pan of his own, as it should be, and cook properly, OK? I appreciate My apologies. That. Thank you. Gets cooked in the same stuff that the meat's been cooked in. Oh! Oh my god, it's disgusting back there. Why is. Oh. Why is mayonnaise that colour? I thought that was a jar of mustard. What's the date on this? So by 27th of February 2010. Expired three years ago. My god. That. How old is that? Raw beef and cooked beef. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. As I always say, everything you need to know about a chef is in his fridge. Shrimp. Just stuck there. Sat. Absolutely stinking. Oh my god. Look at that. What in the fuck is that? There's a shrimp hanging down there. That's all mold. Unbelievable. Bloody hell. It's dinner service at Chappie's, and Chef Ramsay has just made a shocking discovery. Oh, my God. That's all mold. Bloody hell. What may be the filthiest fridge he has ever seen. What a mess. Do you have a minute to urge yes, me, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Chappie, can I have you for one minute, please? This fridge is an absolute mess. I have never seen that, ever. Then I want to know, what the hell are you doing? Something must have spilled. Something must have spilled. Can you stop bullshitting for once and just try to get real? When are these from? Just out of interest. Those are fresh potatoes. They are fresh today. No, they're not fresh today. Oh, my good gosh. Just touch that. What is that? Warm. Have you any idea what happens to sauce when it's covered and it's hot? Tomorrow morning is what? Sour. Sour, thank you. And when is this from? This is a cake that we... This is a cake. You can't even answer me now. How old is that? I don't know. Oh, my good gosh. See the mold in these things? Yes. And this one here, look. See that there? Mm. Uh, you stop. You're not getting anything. 86 it. Come here, you. Come here. Now, have a look down there. What do you see? Mold. Mold. You want me to let you take something else out of here? No. Now, fuck off. Yes, sir. Have you any idea how long a shrimp needs to stay inside the fridge to get that much mold on there? No. Is it between the... Is it between the what? I don't know what it is, where it was. All night, you're just deflected. How about some form of honesty? He needs some help, obviously. He needs some help? Are you serious? I'm very serious You're about... You're one foot away from that shit down there. Which he obviously didn't know was down there. What? Well, do you think he would have let it stay down there if he knew it was there? Oh, so he couldn't see it? Obviously not. You have raised the bar. In fact, you right now are a legend, because you have raised the bar so fucking high that you've taught every chef in the world how not to cook. Congratulations. I feel horrible. That's a mess. Seeing that fridge was beyond belief. I, I could not believe it. I had no idea. I just am speechless. Star, you and me for a second. What is going on? I have no idea. I don't go in the walk-in cooler. I don't manage it. It's not my territory. I never even thought to look in it. I am mortified. I am embarrassed You've by got that. Every right to defend your husband, but I'm not here to sugarcoat. I understand. And you're Gordon, right to be mortified. And I don't expect you to but sugarcoat. But I need it. some form of understanding. You cannot perform like that. You must see the problem, surely. I surely do. What's happened to him? I don't know what's happened to him. If I knew, I could help him work through it. I can't start to work with someone that's given up. And right now, he's shown me everything to confirm he's done just that. And honestly, hand on heart, I think I'm too late. Oh, jeez. 
It doesn't seem like he cares. No, he does care. How'd you know? I don't know. Let me go talk to him. What changed? What changed him from being so passionate and energetic into almost apathetic? I love you. I love you, too. Have you given up? You still love to cook? Yeah. Then show him you want it. OK. I know I'm ready. And whatever it takes, Chappie's going to have to come up and meet me, and let's do this together. Wow. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm totally mortified and embarrassed. I know. So but show some life. Show that you care. Oh, we have done all of this for nothing. I think Chef Ramsay nailed it. And I feel a little let down. He's going through the motions, but he's not feeling the juice anymore. At last night's dinner service, Chef Ramsay was horrified at the bad practices. Sit down, please. This morning, he has gathered the staff to see if he can uncover any other major issues with the restaurant. Yeah, I came here to help, but my biggest concern right now is Chappie. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a more dangerous job when you've got an owner at the helm that doesn't care. Have you ever tried to talk to him? You even bother to ask him a question, and you're pissing him off. The other day, our guest wanted to know what was in a sauce, so I asked him. He said, why the fuck do you want to know? The condescending and the rudeness and the yelling where the customers can hear. That's really, really bad. I feel like I always get yelled at a lot just for everything. He shuts you down, snaps at you. You're not even allowed to speak to him until he speaks to you. Is he always that condescending? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He almost took everybody's at He took the waiters. All we care about is our money and nothing else. Everybody's stealing from him. Everybody's against him. Yeah. Everybody. What's it like dealing with complaints in the kitchen? He usually gets upset. Yeah, he gets angry. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. He'll taste it. He blames everything on us or the guests. Give me an example. I've had a coconut cake that was returned to me. I brought it back to Chappie. He dug it out of the trash can. What? Went back and asked the guy what was wrong with it. From the trash. Not good. Is he different now that I'm here? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. In what way? He's calmer. He's calmer. He's calmer, yes. I appreciate everybody's honesty. This is about getting better, let me tell you. So as difficult as it may have been, I want you to say what you've said to me, to the man himself. No matter what happens, I've got your back. So be confident. Be honest. For me to tell Chappie what I'm feeling and what's been going on, it's, it's definitely nerve wracking. There they are. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to fire me or how he's going to accept it. Chappie is usually a person who flies off the handle. They have some things to say. Susan, kick it off, please. The main thing, Chappie, is just communicating. So we're on the same page. Russ. I want to preface what I have to say to both of you that I love you both. I love this restaurant. So I love the love. Please tell me. Please tell me. Chappie. You're condescending, you're rude, and you're abusive. Everybody feels that. I don't think anybody wants to say it. And many times, you lose your temper, and customers can hear you. It's hard for us to work in that condition. It seems to me as though you don't give a shit about us as a team out here, that you think we're all against you, that we don't have your back. And I want you to know that we do have your back. We would love to have some support back from you. It's just hard that you don't trust anyone. If you don't trust your staff, then don't fucking hire them. Derek? When I first started working, I was selling the black and red fish to everybody. But I found out later that it was why. And ethically, as a server, you're asking me to go out and lie to these people every night. Is that true? It's true. You know, it's just not right. Why'd you do that? Why'd you swap that fish out and put He's them? He's trying to substitute. No, stop, stop, stop being dishonest with customers and putting them in the firing line. If he gets called out, it's your doing. I just wish you would, like, listen to us a little bit. Anytime I've brought up an idea or even try to ask you a question, I'm wasting your time. Whoa. I try to have you back. 
you're fantastic. I'm directing this more towards Chappie. A lot of things have to change. Mm -hmm. I appreciate everything you say. And you're right on target. Chappie, do you find this kind of feedback from your team helpful? I do. It does get tough. And if I was negative to you of, of a personal event, I apologize. It wasn't meant to hurt. But sometimes I get off the edge, too. I'm so blessed that this has happened because nothing was going to change unless we went all the way down there, put the light on it, looked at it, and said, whoa, let's fix this. We have slacked off for quite some time, but we'll get back to it. I hope Chappie can change. I know sometimes they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but I'm hoping that you can. Chef Ramsey still remains unconvinced that Chappie has seen the error of his ways. Sir, have you heard of the restaurant Chappies? No. So he has provided Chappie and Star with a fully equipped stakeout vehicle so they can monitor his interaction with the locals. Hello. How are you? Good nice to see you. You like Cajun? I oh, love Cajun. Have you heard of Chappies? Yes. You have heard of Chappies? Yeah. Good. Have you been there? Yes, a couple been. times. A couple of times. Um, tell me the experience, please. Being on show, very wants to spend all his time and money in promoting himself. He had the etouffee when we went, and probably one of the worst dishes you've yeah, had. It tastes a little burnt. A little bit burnt. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Absolutely. Thank you, my darling. Thank you so much. Have you heard of Chappies, the restaurant? I have not. You haven't heard it. Thank you. How are you? Have you heard of Chappies? I have. Good, have. good, good, good. Have you been to Chappies? I have been. I didn't feel as real authentic Cajun. Looking no. for etouffee and andouille, good oysters and shrimp. Fine. Simple stuff, they spicy. Have, they had that kind of food there. Did you try it? Uh, I, what I tried was not great. No. Yeah. I eat better Cajun food on the Cajun food truck that rolls around. The food quality is up far. And for the price point, it's yes. just, I, I think it's ridiculous. I, I wouldn't mind to pay 30 to $40 for a good entree, but it wasn't good. It's, it's not authentic Cajun. Bad food, right. bad atmosphere, really? bad hat. I'm here to help fix that restaurant. Will you bear with me? Yes. And give it one more shot? Yes. I appreciate it. Great. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye. OK. Were you listening? Absolutely. Yeah. Tough to watch. I agree. It is tough to watch. You think it? you're doing something that they want, and then they don't. So it's a good eye awakening, an epiphany of what we need to do. Let's show more quality. So, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. That's it's in a nutshell. Time to move forward. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Well, when you hear people talking on the street and they don't see you listening, they'll say things that maybe they wouldn't say in front of you. It was an eye opener. Coming up. Chappy, listen to me. No. All eyes are on Chappie. I need you to step up to the plate or go home. Will he finally lead his team to a successful service? How long, Chappie? Almost ready. Or will his customers be disappointed again? Chappie, stop what you're doing. Stop! That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. That'll be one pain of my ass gone. After setting Chappie hopefully on the path to change, Chef Ramsay and his team worked through the night on a major renovation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get ready for some big changes. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Please remove your blindfolds. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Welcome to the new Chappies. That's nice. Look at that. How awesome. incredibly cool. Gone are those tacky, dated yellow walls. Now, it's comfortable, modern, much more warm and inviting. Yeah. We got rid of a lot of the chairs and replaced them with pews, so it gave that sort of intimate, sort of family feel. So much better. I love it. Take a look at this wall. Mm -hmm. We have reclaimed wood from a local barn and then added artistic photos. Uh -huh. the French I'm sure you recognize the French quarter there. We got rid of all the clutter from Mardi Gras, including <laughs> Miss Cleo. Yeah. <laughs> it's the ambiance that Nashville wants. Yeah. And it still plays homage to the home of Cajun cuisine. Sam, how do you feel? 
I, 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 I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy, my darling? Absolutely. You like it? Yes. Perfect. It's it is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I love it. Everything's so fresh, so clean, so modern. It just oozes New Orleans charm. Do we have a happy chappy? It's very, very nice. <laughs> It's not my style. But I was just kind of, kind of grin, bear it, move on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, all right. Now, as big as the decor change was, the menu change is even bigger. Let's go through the menu from top to bottom. Chef Ramsay has modernized and reduced the menu from 100 dishes to 22. First of all, that is the only page. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's start off with the top. Shrimp and grits, done with Creole seasoning, onions, and tomato. Delicious. Next to that, blackened yeah. redfish, served with citronelle and a herb salad. And what do we do when we've run out of redfish, Chappie? It's 86. 86, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so don't even ask for it. Fried chicken, served with apple butter. Delicious Ooh. apple butter. Absolutely delicious. Uh, Chappie, you've gone quiet. I'm thinking. How are we going to do it? <sighs> Let me tell you something. Your cooks have been here since early this morning. They have been under the guidance of a great chef that I brought here, Chris Fox. Chris. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. This young man has been cooking for over 15 years. He has the most amazing wealth of experience. What? I paid for Chris to be here to really implement these standards after I have gone. I think Chef Chris is such a blessing. Chappie's going to get a chance to work side by side with this gentleman. So there are no excuses, OK? There's something else I need to bring in. Uniform. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Oh. The uniforms are great. Now it's casual, and this whole new image, it's, it's going to be fantastic. It feels appropriate. No white shirt, no bow tie, no black pants. And talking about pants, one more thing. <laughs> when you're looking the parts. There goes the party hat and the clown pants. I love it. Uh, listen, up. what I'd like you all to do now is to dig in and taste the food. Oh, it's my gosh. That pork chop is ridiculous. Oh, my god. There is no comparison between Chappie's old food and Chappie's mm. new food. The recipes are there, the flavor is there, but I'm not totally convinced that he's happy. I think he's still, like, got all these thoughts, like, pondering and wondering. So, uh... We'll see how that goes. Mm. OK, that side down. Push nice and flat. After more training on the new menu with Chef Ramsay and Chef Chris. Get it really super charred, right? You'll have beautiful marks. Look great. Got it. All the tools are there for Chappie to have a successful relaunch. I think I'm going to do the grilled Angus steak, OK? Yeah, I actually want to try the, uh, the crab cake. It looks crab awesome. Crab cake. All right, thanks, guys. Fire, 114. Two pork chops, two Angus steaks, one medium, one mid-rare. Uh, uh, Chappie, call back, please. Or Chappie. Hers. Serious, please, yeah? I got gotcha. you. Chappie, Chris is expediting. He's going to tell you what to do. Just do it. How long on these steaks? How long, Chappie? Almost ready. Fucking hell, Chris. Like, what does almost mean? Like, five seconds, two seconds, three seconds, one second? Give me a time, please. <laughs> Chappie, I'm not asking for the fastest kitchen. I just want a little bit of callback. Yes, Chef, no, Chef. Uh, a little bit of liveliness in here a little bit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Here's your medium rare. I need a two pork chops. Where's the pork chop, please? I need those pork chops desperately. Chappie, you get in the game a little bit, please? They're in the oven. They should have been put in the oven a while ago, though. Yeah? They've been in. It's got to be quicker than that. Fuck me. We haven't said anything yet. It's almost like we've gone to sleep. As Chappie struggles with the new menu, the question is, is it because it's new, or is it because he's not thrilled about serving it? I have such a hard time serving a plate like that. Whatever the case may be, customers are starting to get impatient. Sorry, Neil. Sorry, Neil. Go. I need those chops. We already look like jerks. Wow. I need 114. I need 129. I'm also ready for 110. Oh, my God. If Chappie would listen, it would be so much better. Chappie, Chappie, listen to me. Something you're not very good at doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop. 
I need 114. I need 129. It's relaunch night, and Chappie is not responding to Chef Chris. We haven't said anything yet. <laughs> and Chef Ramsay knows he has to do something to save the service. Chappie, listen to me. Something you're not very good at doing. Come here a minute. This is it now. I understand. No, no, but, but if you understand, I need to hear you. I do. I cannot deliver any more. I need you to step up to the plate and run your restaurant. Got it. Either do it or go home. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. He's not good at listing that one. Fire 110. Pork chops, shrimp, and grits. Chappy, don't ignore that ticket there. 110. Fuck. I need those pork chops. You want me to butterfly them? Do not butterfly them. How long are they? It's going to be a couple minutes. At least three minutes, four minutes. You butterflied it off, are you? You cannot do that. I don't want them all butterflied like that. Those days have gone. I am not coming this far now to start slopping food out. Uh, Chris, come round now, please. I don't want him pasteurizing the poor chop just to get it out there. Yes, sir. We need to get it in the oven, OK? Guys, we've got two angus steak. One medium well, one medium. 127, 128. 127, 128. Excellent. Thank you. Make sure you're calling back. Thanks, guys. Letting him know. I wish that Teppy would be a little bit more open-minded to accept some of the changes. I really hope he does. Fucking hell. With Chef Chris switching from expediter to head chef. Let's go. Urgently, please. Food is now making its way out to the dining room. Here's your food. Bon appetit. How hungry are you? Thank goodness. We love you. All the flavors complement each other. It's very good. The mac and cheese is amazing. Everybody's been happy with the food. Thank God. All your dinners are out. I got the last table. <laughs> it's just wonderful. We have a great new menu that's fresh and delivered beautifully. We just have to stick with it, believe in it, and do everything we can to make it happen. How are you? I'm OK. Everybody seemed to love everything, but I just have a hard time with it. I still think my food's great. And that'll be one pain of my ass gone. OK, Chappie, after Chris's time is done here, you need to find and invest in a chef like Chris. There should be someone qualified in that kitchen on a daily basis. Absolutely. Because it's worth it. The only thing that's going to keep this place on the map is the food. Will do. Star, you must make me a very serious promise. You must not let Chappie go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Good. I'm only telling you this for your own good, because you are one stubborn man. Good luck to you both. Thank you so much. Yeah? Thank you. You well, heard my prayer. I don't know how you did it. Thank you so much. Come here, you. Ah, good luck to you both. Thank okay. you. Take care. Thank you so Thank much. You. Good night. Good night. I've got one word to describe my time here at Chappies, and that is challenging. Mainly because Chaffee led his restaurant slide in so many ways. But we made a major turnaround, and he even agreed to get rid of his ridiculous chef's hat. My only hope now is that he's got rid of all those bad habits, because if he hasn't, this restaurant has no chance. Wow. Not long after Chef Ramsay left, in spite of positive feedback about the changes, Chappie went back to his old ways. But he, you didn't do what I asked you. I should have come behind you and babysat you. You're right. The majority of his original dishes are back. Black and pork chop, black and swordfish on the fly. And so is the uncertainty of the future of this Nashville restaurant. <laughs> Scottsdale, Arizona, an upscale Phoenix suburb. It's also home to Amy's Baking Company. Opened in 2006 by husband and wife team, Sammy and Amy Buzaglo. It was at a very early age that I discovered I had a real, true passion and talent for anything having to do with the culinary arts. Just give me the per salad, darling, if you can. All right, all right. So in 2006, Sammy invested over a million dollars into this restaurant to make my dream come true. Can I open? Yalla! We are ready. Come okay. on, guys. But we're in the restaurant business. It's not all daisies and ponies and unicorns. I understand this whole substitution thing. <laughs> Approximately two years ago, these reviewers and these bloggers decided to make up lies and say that they ate the food and it was disgusting. Son of a bitch. And we lost a tremendous amount of business because of it. They're just fucking haters. This 
really just isn't good. I'll take it. There's a lot of things that are wrong with the food that she just doesn't realize. Too garlicky, too buttery, too sweet, not cooked enough, too overdone. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> if someone has criticism, Sammy tells them, you don't know what the food is supposed to taste like. If you don't know what is wrong with it. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. I don't want them and don't come back. Is your first time? Last time. And last time, don't come back, madam. Not only do they lash out and swear at customers. I will go tell them to fuck off if my husband doesn't. But they take it one step further and retaliate against them. I hope he eats it. And I just made it really spicy for him. I hope it hurts him. The customer is not always right. Choose another pizza or nothing. And I'm not here to take shit from anybody. I'm not going to have people make shit up that isn't true. I'm not doing it. Don't I'm, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not making any more food. Amy's nuts. I am going to really hurt somebody if they send back my cake. One second, she's like a nice little care bear. Thank you so much. I love you. You're such a good girl. And the next second, she's like Corella DeVille. I'm stopping all the food. No, no, I'm not, wait, no, no, I'm not, I'm not making anything else. No, why? It has to go to the freaking trash. Are you kidding me right now? And unfortunately, the majority of the people in Arizona think that if you come to our restaurant, that we're going to yell at you, scream at you, and throw you outside. And that is not who we are. Go and yell at. Keep walking, mister. You can just keep walking. Chef Ramsey is coming to tell the people how the food is good here. You can go, madam. Don't come back, madam. I'd be happy not to see you here. Thank you. I think Chef Ramsey is going to be wasting his time. He can't change Sammy and Amy. They're lost cause. Anything goes dirty, change it. We are ready. Come okay. On, guys. Good evening. Do you guys know what you want? Three cheese and tomato sauce. All right. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Miranda may be the only server on staff. I can't do the computer, so he's the only one that has control over that. But she is not allowed to input orders, pour wine, or handle money. The ravioli, and then they want yeah, the pizza I after. I know what it is. The only one who can do that is Sammy. OK, OK, just move, 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 I know. Sammy thinks that he's doing everything all by himself. For C. But Sammy doesn't realize He's actually messing everything up. I need another wine. I cannot work. I cannot. I can't. I can't. I can't. I cannot work. I can't. Sammy. Look all the orders I have. What do you want? Nothing. Go, go, go okay. to the kitchen. La, 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 la. He had like 30 tickets in his hand, I think. With Amy only cooking one ticket at a time. We're not making any of this until I get to that ticket. The diners are in for a long wait. I've never waited this long for one more pizza. But the one table that has received their food is unsatisfied. What is the problem with it? I like the Caesar, I don't know. Even you don't know what is wrong with it. It's the egg is. OK, if you came to eat to enjoy, then you should know what you like to eat, sir. Apparently, you don't know what you like to eat. I guess not. <laughs> OK, Amy. What? Can you make me per salad instead of that Caesar? Seriously? Don't worry. I told them to fuck off. He's like all in the back, like yelling. Maybe they don't understand it doesn't come from a can. Are you kidding me right now? It's a little sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> doughy. What? They say it's not cooked enough. To be. To be? OK, Amy. What? Two beasts is not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it okay, for them. OK, this is not cooked enough. The food we're making is going straight to the trash. And there are starving people that could be eating it. But instead, these people decide that they're going to come fuck with my life. Uh, we waited like an hour and a half. We never got I know. pizza. We never got. You guys are full of shit. Yeah, I tell her not to do it. Never got our pizza. I never got this. My ass. Stop the red pepper ravioli and stop the, it's ready. the big. Sammy. Stop it. They're leaving. I don't stop care. It. I am not going to do me. this. Stop it. Fuck them. Stop what? It's in the oven. We're waiting on one pizza. It's coming now. It's coming now. Now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him. He's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home. Yeah, you have a pizza, it's coming. You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what did you have, and you fuck off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? You Do you understand? Off? You fuck yourself. Go out, you motherfucker. Are you kidding me? No, you are out. Don't speak like this. Go out. Are you no. fucking kidding me? Yeah, I fucking call fuck you. Sammy, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'll fuck you, pay and go. Hey, stop. 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 Are they for real? What is it me? I'm in the office. Don't call the police, you crazy. Where's the pizza? It's in the oven. He can suck it. You pay. You don't go out. You, if you touch up, I fucking, you oh come from here. I told you. You go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Are you kidding me right now? I'm kidding. I'm fuck you. Not kidding you. I fuck you. Call the police. 
Please, Take I'm the calling. money. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are fucking No, crazy. he's just calling the police. I know, but hey, you're not touching him. Get away. Motherfucker, you, motherfucker. you are. Fucking piece you of piece shit. You piece of shit. You are a little pansy. Get me. out of here. Don't you yeah. ever come back here. You little weenie. Yeah. Keep walking. Fuck you. Give me a break. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. You motherfuckers, you all, think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this before. With very little knowledge of the previous night's dinner service, Amy's Baking Company. Chef Ramsay arrives looking to find out why Amy's Baking Company needs his help. I love desserts. Hey, Hello. Chef. How are you? How are you doing? Nice to see you. First name is? Sammy. Sammy, good I'm to the see you. owner. You're Thank the owner. you. Yes. Wow. Well, look at that. Come on. My wife, Amy, yeah. Uh, can I meet this lady? Yes, no. Please? Yeah. Amy? Yes? Gordon Ramsay wants to meet you. He wants to know who is the chef of who does all this beautiful uh, Come around, please. Hi. Come around, my darling. So nice to meet you. I'll give him a hug. Uh, <laughs> did you make them? Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. Incredible. It's nice, nice to meet you. you. Likewise. Uh, good you. to see you. I mean, they're extraordinary. Thank you. That's very nice. It um, means a lot coming from you. Any of that store bought? No. The restaurant is beautiful. Thank you. And I want you to see my kitchen after all, before right. as you want, and then you tell me about our kitchen also. Right. Show me the kitchen. Okay, please. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I don't mean. Okay. You got me excited. Sorry. Of course, thank you. Here. Okay. Please. Oh my God. Okay. And who's the head chef? I am. I'm... Yo, hold on, stop, stop. <laughs> Holy crap. You got lucky. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. He is my but... soulmate, and we're in this business together. Fine. And we Fine. stand <laughs> strong together. We have to because there's a lot of online bullies and haters and bloggers. We stand up to them, and I think we're the only ones that ever have as restaurant owners. And they come, and they try to attack us and say horrible what? things that are not true. Because they're, you're, they're used to eating processed wood chips uh, or used to getting things for free uh, and not from us. OK. Um, let's catch up with the haters and that stuff. After you. Uh, can I have a quick look at the kitchen? Of course. Uh, normally, uh, owners don't like it when I expect kitchens, but the floor's shiny. It's like oh. a basketball court. Come, please come see. If oh you're not, my goodness, you mate. want a jacket? No, you don't, like a, it. you don't need it. It's like a doctor's surgery in here. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank Bloody you. Thank hell. you for saying the truth. Oh, my goodness me. Is what? this a joke? I mean, look, dates, labels, yes, everything, sectioned yeah. off. Wow, what a pleasure. Hello. This is Miranda. This is Miranda. She's Miranda. going to Miranda. serve you. Nice to see you. And this nice is... to meet you. I'm Katie. Katie. This is Christine. She's my Christine, wingman. Christine, darling. Are you the sous chef? She is. Yes. Let's go through the dining room. Okay. The restaurant itself is very clean and nice, but it's Amy and Sammy that are the problem. Do not judge a book by its cover. So, take me back to the beginning. How long have we been married? Almost 10 years. Oh, yes, no, we right. got married five months after we met. Wow. Well, I prayed for him, and God sent him to me, and I wasn't going to waste any time. <laughs> she said, forget you, you Sammy Hafner, enough. <laughs> he was back. a playboy I, in she Vegas. Took, yeah. You were a playboy in Vegas. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He was. Seriously. He was, even Hugh Hafner didn't have as beautiful of women as we did. All the playmates would come to our table. He was a player. But with me, it didn't work like that. I am individual or nothing at Once all. Once we got married, that's that was it. everything out. Wow. So, um, were you trained in the industry? No, not at no? all. I'm a so developer. Back. I build I build custom houses. Oh. But when the crisis started, I say, I still have money. What do you want me to do with it? She begged me. She said, my dream, it was to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I just, throughout my life, had a passion and a God-given talent for it. And this is all I want to do. That's lovely. Thank you. And the ganache as well. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Oh, oh God. I'm the only one that makes them. And if I'm not here working, we're not open. Say that again. If I, if, if I am not here, if we're my husband's not here, sick, we're not open. The the... We don't run without each other here. You're kidding me. No. That's no way to run a business. We can't find qualified people to work. They want to come yes. and get For a paycheck and trying. not work. In Arizona? They're not good. They're not good. I tried a lot of that. This is we my know that. biggest worry. This is my biggest problem in my life. But I cannot find people. I can count on them. I can trust no, them. They're dirty. Them. They're lazy. They're How many people have you been through? A lot. A few hundred. A lot. <laughs> a few hundred? Yeah. So other than an issue with staff, what's wrong with this bloody restaurant? I have issues with customers that are trying to be online bullies and say horrible things. Online bullies? They're online bullies and write things that are not true. They write that it's I have store-bought dough. They write that things are frozen. I understand that, but those things are not true. But when did this start? Two and a half years ago. This guy came in that started this entire online bullying. He ordered pizza yeah. margarita. And after I say, OK, how is your pizza? He say. It's a frozen pizza. The next day, he went and gave us a review. Oh my God. 
My wife, she was... Well, retaliated. You wrote back to him? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, Why? He, I told him. I thought he was a loser. He was a moron. I, know, I didn't I insulted take you. him. I Tell understand. Me. He insulted yeah. me first, and I attacked back. I'm not going to let anybody bully me, bully my husband. That's a joke. You need thick skin in this business. Well, Honestly. they called they called me crazy Amy B because I stood up to them, like... and I need people who respect you, who know that you have earned your stripes in the kitchen and in life. I need them to listen to you and not the online bullies and take your word that you're saying that our food is good. Amy, if all your food is as good you as it's deserved, food, trust yeah, me, good. there's something not quite right here. Thank you. We are you a it. control freak? I am. It's we are Amy. Amy worse. What a combination. We have to clone us. Clone us. Is that possible? It is, in places <laughs> I've heard. Right. Do you have children? Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside wow. cat bodies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're cats. Our babies are cats. They're my whole life, besides my husband and my business. I speak feline. Meow, 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 meow. Meeting you two for the first time, you are both fucking nuts. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have a little sample of the menu. OK. Do your thing normally. I will. Hello. How are you, my darling? Good. Is it just you and Sammy in the front of the house? It's pretty much just me. And how long have you been here? A month and a half. Good tips? I don't make tips. Say that again. I make hourly. Serious? You must be the only server in this country... I know. ...that doesn't get tipped out. So where do the tips go? The owner. What? Yeah. I can't believe that. I know. I try to tell him. <laughs> Wow. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy. You spoke earlier about the problem with staff. Yeah, I just found out something pretty major. Miranda, the young girl? Yeah. And you don't give her her tips? No. Sammy, yeah. you cannot take server's tips. Then bring me the people who's going to do their job, and I don't have to interfere. They can take the whole tips for them. Did you see? I already took three orders by myself and sent them already to the... You're the owner. I'm doing the most of the job. Wow. I'm ready to order. OK, I'll take your order. Do you know already what you like yes, to Yes, I do, yes. Yeah. The fig and pear prosciutto pizza, Excellent. please. Excellent. Yeah. And um, then I'm going to go for a blue ribbon burger. Medium rare. Medium rare. Excellent. Please. And I'll take the salmon burger as well at the same time. And then I'll fancy some gnocchi. All the pasta's homemade, right? Oh, it is, but uh, not the gnocchi today. Oh. It's, not, it's not homemade. We didn't oh. have time to make them. OK. Uh, I'll go straight to the ravioli. OK, which one do you like? The, the red pepper. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. The story is becoming a little clearer. OK, Amy. Yeah. This is the chef's order. Oh, God, OK. I believe that once Chef Ramsay tastes my food, as a chef, he'll be able to tell that this is what God wants me to do. What's that fucking doorbell that keeps on going off every two minutes? Miranda, what is that doorbell on the side of the wall for? <laughs> Whenever we have dirty dishes, we ring it, and then the busser comes and grabs the dishes from there. Why would you walk around and just put the plates in the pot wash? The first time in my career, a pot washer has a doorbell. <laughs> Ding dong. The large or the small? Small. White three cheese pizza. Ah, the cheese pizza. Sammy. Yeah. Does, does Miranda use the POS system? No, she does not yet. Nobody's. I'm the only one who uses it. Yeah. But the quicker you teach her, the quicker you can take her back no, seat. I, I will teach her when you come the time. I will teach her. Miranda. Have you ever worked on a POS system? Yes, at every job that I've worked at. Every job. And how many jobs have you had before you worked at ABC? A lot. A lot. She doesn't need training. She knows how to do it. Thank you. Oh, it's for Yes. Thank you. I'll get you a wow. The fig and pear and prosciutto pizza. Well, the crust is supposed to be good, but it's not that crusty. It's very, very sweet. My dough's raw. After all this weight. Wow. That is so sweet. But that's not the issue. The issue is the dough is raw. Just, I feel it. It's raw. It's doughy. 
I don't know how we come out today like this, well, but normally they love that pizza. It's really, well, really lovely. I'm telling you what I'm getting and it's raw, soggy and wet and too sweet in general. We'll take that off. Can you take it back to Amy, please? Of course, yes. Thank you. Oh my God, I don't think he liked it. What's wrong? Nothing. I feel like Sammy sugarcoats a lot of what happens in the restaurant. So Amy gets this feeling that like everything she's doing is correct, everything's right. Don't worry, don't worry, everything is okay. I'm not worried. I'm afraid he's going to say something isn't good. I know my wife, she doesn't take the criticism. She will be shaking and then she say, that's it, I'm leaving. Just I'll tell you all about it after. After, just relax and do like you do normally, just do it. Oh my God, I'm going to freak out. Chef Ramsay has been sitting at the table for well over an hour. I feel it's raw. And so far, all that he has sampled is an undercooked pizza. I don't even tell her you didn't like the, uh, the pizza. You didn't even tell her the dough Not was... Not yet. I know my wife, she's, she'll get nervous. You're scared and of telling her the truth? Do you want to tell her? Come with me, you tell her. I just want her to know, so she checks okay, the next she one. she will know, yes, she will know. Uh, anyway, I am 75 minutes in, and so far, I've had an undercooked pizza. I know you've been waiting. I'm going to start eating my ticket. Oh, OK. I'm going to tell her you're starving. I'm oh. going to tell her you are starving. OK. She'll move, OK? She'll move. She, I hope oh. so. Do you know where that goes? Mm -hmm. Yes? OK. Thank you. Wow. Blue cheese, mushrooms, marinated, garlic aioli, white truffle oil, and crispy bacon bits, and a soggy bun that's just full of grease. Jesus, come on. I have a lot of nerve calling this a blue ribbon burger. Well, medium rare, it's not. Ooh. Oh. It's just a mess. Oh dear. That is overcomplicated, so unnecessary. And look, that is one shit burger. Oh, it's a disaster. Yeah, the bun. What a mess. Okay, so, yeah, so I'll take um, this back. Uh, really disappointing. I am starving. I got it. Thank you. This is for him? Yes, red pepper ravioli. Thank you. Red pepper ravioli. There you go. <laughs> How's the uh, salmon burger doing? <laughs> I'll go check on that. Thank you. He wants to know how long in the salmon burger? It's on its way. OK. okay. You don't need to keep reminding us. We know, OK? I was just saying. I yeah. know, but you don't need to come tell us. We know that it needs to go out. Oh, my god. It smells weird. Oh, here's my salmon burger. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, though. You're welcome. Oh, god. Sweet, spicy. What a mess. That has to be one of the most confused ravioli dishes I've ever seen and tasted in my entire life. Wow. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, huh? Sweet and spicy. Yeah. Ravioli with bacon and sweet corn, topped with cilantro. Are these store-bought? Yes, the ravioli, yes. He told me that this yes. was store-bought, then I wouldn't ah. have ordered it. Ah, OK. I didn't tell you, no, no. I didn't tell you that. Thank you. Look at this thing here. This is what I've been waiting for. So it's like a salmon cake, crab cake, burger. It's overcooked. I mean, it's, it's not good. Although it may be good for those three boys, three cats at home. Do you want me to take that? Please, <laughs> because it is like eating dry cat food. Do you want to take a sample? No, I really um, don't. Go on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> is, um, is, is Amy there? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go into the kitchen? Uh, you you know, no, she can come out now. Okay, I still have Just a quick. Amy? Yes. That was a lot longer than I expected, and, you know, there were some big bumps in that meal. Um, what kind of bumps? What didn't you like? 
Let's go through it later. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go get changed. Okay. And I want to see how this place functions. And then after service, cover all the points. You look disappointed. I am disappointed. Okay. But let's go through this later. Okay. Yeah. Of okay. Course, yeah. Sure. This is Thank what you are. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's for you. Oh, thank you. Only. Thank you. Fuck me. Okay. Go to the fridge. Hurry, go to the fridge. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not worried. No. Never mind. Jane. You do. And you do what you do. Do you understand? Just do what you well, do. I'm concerned with his opinion. He loves I the know. desert. I understand. Please do me a favor. You right. can. They are good. How does the line work? Who does what? Christine does mostly the salads, and I do the pizzas. I have people tell me it's the best pizza that they've ever had in wow. their life. My pizza today was undercooked, so it was raw, and I said, will you take that back? He said, I can't talk to her in service. Why is that? You're a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as if you're sort of manager and assistant manager. So why can't you go and tell your wife? Because I, I know my pizza, wife. Pizza, fucking yeah. wake up, is undercooked. I don't think your pizza was undercooked. I checked it when I took it out of the oven, just like I do every other pizza. And to me, it was crispy on the bottom. When I cut it, right. it was crunchy. Okay. So to me, it wasn't okay, wrong. Okay, so that's your version, because you sure. didn't see it come back. However, the bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. Blue cheese, marinated mushrooms, crispy bacon bits, white truffle oil. Who comes up with those ideas? I did. Because there's certain things that don't go together, and that's four of them. Chef Ramsay is standing there riding my ass about white truffle oil and garlic aioli. Oh, my my God, like he's never heard of any flavor profile in the world as disgusting. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. Because your husband doesn't tell you. And the, the salmon burger was like a salmon fish cake in between a dry bun. But it was a dry bun or it was a soggy bun? That oh. was dry, dry pate, dry. It's good like that. We have people tell us all the time there that you it's go again. good. There's no point in me saying anything to you because you just don't wear it's good like that. Whatever. The uh, raviolis, do you cook them from frozen? Yes, we do. Do you know how you can make these better? What? Yes, I can make them from scratch. No, of take them off. Can. Oh, yes, of course. Why don't I well, just delete everything you. from my the... menu? I'm just trying and to then sell. close my doors. What do you want me to sell? These are store bought crap that. frozen raviolis. They're not crap, and they're delicious. And I, the oh. first time I've ever. Oh okay. my God. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. I didn't because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. People usually love it. I've never had a problem with People it, but. People usually love it. Yes, real customers, not haters. Oh, come on, Amy. Raviolis that are in the freezer. Oh, my God. Sacrilegious. Ladies and gentlemen, two seconds, please. The owner is trying to pull the wool over your eyes by offering you frozen raviolis that aren't even made within 500 miles of this front door. So would you mind, personally, if I 86 them to stop you from eating crab? So we'll 86 ravioli. OK. I have too much respect for your customers yeah. Yeah. to bullshit them. Now, will you tell your wife, or shall I? It's dinner service, and Amy continues to deflect everything. The owner is trying to pull the wool over your eyes by offering you frozen raviolis. So to make his point, Chef Ramsay decides to do a little research with the customers. Would you mind if I 86 them? Are you going to tell your wife, or shall I? I will tell her. Thank you. OK, listen. Yeah. No more raviolis No more today. raviolis yeah. and no more hamburgers and no more salmon burgers. People yes. can only have cakes tonight. OK. OK? I'm good with that. Complete bullshit. She can't take criticism. Why is um, that? Yeah. Ask her that question. Ask her? I have the same problem for that. Are we used to waiting on something? Yeah. yeah. What is it that you're waiting on? Pasta. Yeah. The spicy pasta. The pasta recipe? Yes. Is that coming? Can you look on B4 and see if, what else they had? They should have uh, a pasta recipe. It is. No, I don't have it. You didn't give it to me. Sammy. Yeah. Sammy, I did write it down for you. Oh, it was here? It's right there. What is it? Pasta rustica. I see it here. It's OK. 4B. No, no, 5B. Are you sure? You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. I'm sorry. Sammy? Yes, darling. I would appreciate it if you would send Katie home right no. now. No, I don't no, need no, an okay. attitude from her. She comes no, no, and she said, okay. It's sure. because there's the two others. No, oh, my God. Okay. Am I sure? What a little shit. I mean, I'm not going to talk to you right now because I have to concentrate well, then, on the then line. Stop. Concentrate then. I will. There's no point in talking to you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
end of pizza. Food is leaving the kitchen at a snail's pace. And it doesn't appear to be worth the wait. You can take this back too. <laughs> you didn't like it? Not good. Okay. When food's not eaten, do they tell you? No. Every single time a customer doesn't lick their plate, the waitress doesn't come to tell me that. Amy, no one's licking that. Just ignore him. I am ignoring everything that's happening. Stop. Thank you, Ryan. Excuse me. So, that just comes back from the table, and it goes straight into the pot wash. Then they didn't like it. So, if they didn't like it, what are we going to do about it? Let's wait. We finish today. The but kitchen I... needs to know. OK. Then I'm going to tell her. Thank you. OK. Amy, this is the summit. They didn't like it. For me, this is all bullshit, so I, I don't, I don't care. care. None of you have known about this, because the young girl, Maria, grabbed the plate and was about to throw it away. That's a common thread in this restaurant. There's no point in me speaking, so wow. I'm just going to work. It's like one long nightmare. Wow, $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No. They get hourly. And so do you think if I went and asked every customer when they leave a tip yeah. that it goes straight to the owner and not to the server, mm -hmm. do you think they'd be astounded? Let me ask that table there. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't no, fuck no, no. with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Oh my god, Tammy's going to hurt him. I'm fed up. I'm getting sick and tired of your bullshit. Like well, then fucking answer the my question. Then Come fucking on. answer my question. Tell the customers they're going to get yeah. their tips. No, they don't. They should be told that you're taking them yeah. because this servers deserve yeah. them. You want to speak with me? Yeah, I want to speak with you. You want to fuck with me? I will fuck with you. I don't want to fuck with you. Then I will fuck I with you. Fuck. Oh my god, what a joke. Has everybody got his food? Yeah, we're closed. We're closing the kitchen. I think, Katie, you can go, for sure. I'm talking to you, Katie. OK. Katie, listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore, OK? Don't start crying. Don't why why no, are you behaving please, like this? No, no, oh, no, my no, God. Come on, come on. Since no, I'm talking to you, I wasn't doing anything. Katie, I, I wasn't doing anything. You've been an attitude with me all night long, Katie. Don't worry, don't worry, please. OK, I quit. No, you're not. I quit. She is quitting. She has an attitude. She comes to the kitchen tonight. She's like, I set a table. She said, are you sure? Are you my boss? It's OK, it's OK, Katie, please. Go on. No, 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 come on. She doesn't work here anymore. She's a poisonous little viper, and I don't allow people to have an attitude in my restaurant. What does she know? Who the hell is she? She is gone. That's who she is. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Tonight, Chef Ramsay witnessed how dysfunctional Amy and Sammy are at running their business. Katie, you do not work here anymore, OK? Including firing Katie for simply asking a question. Now, you've just fired a young girl. Mm -hmm. But just take a big, deep breath and see if we can get some form of resolution here. OK. Believe it or not, my intentions are good. You're shaking your head already. I'm listening. It's become evident that you can't take criticism. Why is that? Are you seriously asking me why it's I'm okay, so yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, I am. You don't have to cry here. I'm I don't want you to cry. Going... You don't have to cry. I'm not going to cry, Sammy. Okay, just cry. I'm trying to speak and it's take quiet. out my is it a conversation. Okay. No one lets me speak, ever. Not nobody. Oh, my God. You know, let me talk. I know that, but you're not listening to me. I know. What you, I listen to you. We listen to you. I'm when trying we, to. I he asked me a exactly question. What I, know. what I do normally is good. I don't have people sending things back to me. You the, don't the know, training, Amy. You're saying that You training. don't know. Because food comes back, it goes straight to the dishwasher. That's what the whole issue is. You've been avoiding everything. Behind your back are the most amazing desserts. And in your freezer is store-bought shit raviolis that you're never going to convince me or a customer that they're good. The sauce is delicious. The raviolis, we think that they're very good. What I'm struggling with is that you convince yourselves that it's right. It's not. Tomorrow, I want you open-minded, OK? You as well, Sammy. I don't make promises that I know I can't keep. I'm going to do everything within myself to try. All you're getting from me is the truth. Right now, that's what you need. Good night. Good night. Yeah. After one of the most difficult days he has ever had on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay has arrived with a plan to start turning around Amy's Baking Company. Oh, come on. 
But with Amy and Sammy not at the restaurant, he takes the time to meet with former staff members that have reached out to him. Morning. Morning. Hello. How are you both? Good. Good. Jessica, right? Yes, nice Good to, to see you. you. Henry. Henry, nice to see you. Uh, first of all, no. Jessica, what was your job? I was hired as a food runner. Sammy told me that he didn't like people who went to culinary school because he didn't think that we knew anything. And when I started, I was only allowed to pour water glasses and set them at the table. So I worked up front for a few months and basically wow. had to beg my way back into the kitchen. Unbelievable. And Henry? I was a busser <laughs> for the most part. How long ago were you there? A little over a month. And what kind of things did you see in the dining room? He was always in a bad mood, no matter what. Like, I've, I've never seen him in, like, a good mood. He can't take complaints in, like, a, a professional manner, which is the worst part. He made me wash his car one day. What? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done for him. They were always yelling at each other. In the year and a half I was there, I saw at least 50 people come and go. 50? They were oh, in and out that. so yeah. fast. Wow. What happens when customers complain about their food? They get told that they're wrong, that, you know, no, we have the best food in the country. You're wrong. Like, there have been times people have gotten salmon that's raw, and they'll send it back saying, you know, can you cook this a little more? And they're like, you don't know how to eat food. You don't know oh what you're God. doing. This is perfect. You just, wow. you obviously don't know. Customer's always wrong there. That is insane. It's just that they don't really know how to manage a restaurant. I don't know what it is, but they both think that, like, the whole world is out to get them. Listen, I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, uh, no problem. You've been very helpful, and I appreciate the honest truth. Absolutely. Uh, wish me good luck. I need yeah, it. Yeah, good luck Absolutely. with Absolutely, good luck. <laughs> Hope we can help them. Thank you. Wow. It gets worse. Morning. Good morning. Morning, Sammy. Today is a new day. Yeah, I hope so. You don't look very happy. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Can't. It's all, yeah. I've never had uh, this experience like this. It's a disaster. Okay. I've never had an experience like this either. We want to clarify a few things. Please, should we sit down? So there's no animosity, Let's of sit course. Sit down. Yes. Let's clarify a few things. What would you like to clarify? What I have a problem with were the comments you were saying to me last night while I was trying to focus on the food. Let's look at one thing at a time and be sure. open and honest. OK. OK. Fine. Because for me, this was about uncovering the truth. When I'm told that the ravioli's are freshly made... I didn't tell you no, that. Can I finish? Sorry, when your husband told me that the ravioli's were fresh, I ordered them. And the ravioli's were disgusting and not fresh. And if you're going to try and continue to pull wool over customers' eyes by sending them fake fresh-made raviolis, they need to know. I don't, I that never say sends that my alarm bells going. Speak a minute. Now, you may want to sit there and argue, mm -hmm. but you're not prepared to understand that I'm here to show you what's right, and you can't take that. I can. I'm ready for that. I have no problems with the food. I told you about the burger. You refused to listen. I did not. I Every asked time you I tell what you was wrong with it. You come back with an excuse. I kept after asking excuse, you what's wrong, and you excuse. couldn't give me I told you the bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. You said the salmon burger was dry, but it was wet. Is it dry or is it wet? Which one is it? One I'm at so a time? Confused. No, you, you're confused. I'm not confused when we're talking about food. But the way you screamed at that young girl last night. Would you let anybody come into your restaurant, in your kitchen, and speak to you the way that that kid spoke to me last night? Would yeah. you? Do you think we're going to let someone hold a gun to our head and we're going to give them our ass and let them do anything they want from us? All she asked mm -hmm. is, No, she are did you it with sure? an attitude, a serious attitude. She's like, are you sure? For me. Are you sure? You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. No, she didn't. OK. Now okay. you're over-exaggerating again. All right. But you'll okay. blame her and you'll blame the customers, but customers were waiting for the food through your husband's mistake. But, OK, we're going to forget this today. Right. We're going to start, if we continue the show, we're going to start from scratch. I want to you forget want the word me... show. This is not a show for me. No, I mean, I don't know what you this call This is it, a then. restaurant that is in crisis with a delusional owner that can't take criticism. So I'm going to tell you as it is. I met Jessica and Henry this morning, and I got told some awful things. Like what? The way you treat staff. They have to clean cars in the middle of service because the boss wants his car cleaned. And then witnessing over 50 staff being fired in that short period of time. 
Really? 50 staff? 50 staff. You're saying that I have fired 50 staff since Jessica Both of you. was here. You're saying that? I am. Can you prove that to me? Here we 50 go again. staff? Look at your eyes. Look oh, how, that's look because how, you're look saying lies. Look how lies. bitter you are. Have you not had a turnover of more than 50 people? This she, is... she was wrong. 100 or even more than 100. Wow. Yeah, not only 50, so yeah, the 100. The stats are actually worse than yeah. she told me. Yes, it's worse, yes. Could you tell your wife that? Because I don't no, no, think yes, she it knows. Is. It is. I need a drink of water, excuse yes, me. Water. You're going to run off again? On, Yesterday, I didn't even eat, drink, eat okay. or drink, and I have to drink water. Jesus Christ, are you going to attack me for wanting to fucking drink some water, too? My God, I don't even know why we came back here. I'm going home. This morning, Chef Ramsay arrived with a plan on how to turn around the restaurant. But the owners wanted to clear up a few matters. Now, you may want to sit there and argue, but you're not prepared to understand that I'm here to show you what's right. Unfortunately, they are still not prepared to listen to what Chef Ramsay has to say. Excuse me, you I need water. Again? I have yesterday, water. I didn't even eat, drink, eat or okay. drink, and I have to drink water. Jesus Christ, are you going to attack me for wanting to fucking drink some water too? My God, I don't even know why we came back here. I'm going home. Now you're going home? This is such bullshit. Nobody even fucking is listening to me. Fucking, they're going to go by Jessica? This. Unbelievable, these people are incredible. And I've had enough and come here to be abused. My own restaurant. I want to go home. Just cool down, I mean, I All we've done, interested. all that's happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked. Why are you behaving like because this? Because I'm insulted. You verbally insulted me yesterday, and I held my I tongue out truth. of class. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't Why say nasty things to you. Really? OK, really, I didn't, really. When I no, told you about the burger, you refused to listen. You don't understand. You're judging me on you coming in here, disrupting the entire service. I've been doing this. Disrupting? You did disrupt us last night. How could I focus when you're on my food? What about my, my lunch? Food? When you're standing here what about talking to my cooked husband. Me? What about when I cooked for you? Who when disrupted you then? Everybody. What are you talking about? Blaming everybody again. I do my best so our business doesn't close because we can't find qualified people. You go get Miranda and that little Katie and Jessica. Bring them here the reason, and let me see how they, they work. Back Will you here. do that? Of course. They're, oh. Do you know what? They're scared of you. They're, and they're scared. Embarrassed. But unfortunately, you convince yourself in your little Amy's world that everything you cook, touch, send is no, perfect. I do not. What? I Are you, am I arguing? Garlic aioli like goes well with white truffle. Well, that let me delicious. show you some. Can I show you reviews? Hundreds of reviews oh, no. that are excellent that oh, no. we didn't write that Not are from real customers. On the internet again. No, good reviews, real customers that have supported us look, for look six at the years. Way you, look at the way. You're attacking my business attacking. and my life. This is I'm all I do is live this life every day. You're not telling me the problems. You are saying I'm delusional, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. <laughs> Can we talk about what we came here to speak about, no. please? Yeah, let them feel it. Yeah, I want them to you finish. told me to be honest. Say. I am always about honest. About the problems that you've had, that you cannot talk to your wife, and the issues that she can't take criticism before yeah, she knows that I met That's fine. I have no problem saying that. That's fine. Wow. I think you're too far gone. OK, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone. There's no hope. Yalla, yalla. It's Christmas. Let's go home. I can't help people that can't help themselves and cannot ever take one ounce of criticism. And if you're not willing to change, I'm not gonna butt heads, argue, scream, whatever you wanna say, but this is not normal. And it's not normal for a restaurant to go through that many staff, it's not normal for a kitchen that small to have 65 items on the menu, and it's not normal for the level of animosity that you've built inside this restaurant and outside. You have the right to run the business the way you want to run your business. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, of course that's what I wanted participate in this bullshit. Give me a break. Can they take this thing off of me? We don't need his help. Maybe he knows that. It all has to come down. And now he's gone. He walked away. He'll go on with his life. Sammy and I will go on with our life. Well, it's finally happened. After almost 100 kitchen nightmares, I've met two owners who I could not help. And it wasn't because I didn't want to. 
it was because they are incapable of listening. And in a short period of time, they've managed to piss off the community and go through over 100 employees in one year. Sammy and Amy continue to blame everyone else, yet their biggest problem is themselves. And I know whatever changes I would have made, they were never going to stick to them. And that's why I've decided to do something I've never done before. It's such a shame.